Can Cowdy come over? My cute little sister asked me this while we were having dinner together. I responded with a big no face. Huh? Why do you have to make that face? But Kaori... Kaori, who Shizuka just mentioned, is our school celebrity. Her name is Kaori Fujimiya. In a nutshell, she's a super friendly, beautiful girl. Whoever she's talking to, whether that be a person she hasn't met before or even an introverted nerd, she can have a fun conversation with them. This makes her one of the two most popular students, along with my cute childish sister. Why would I not want her at my house? Here's why. She's super annoying just to me. Why don't you go to Calvary's house? But she said she wants to come here because she hasn't been here for a while. She was here a bunch of times a few years ago. Isn't that enough? Hmm. Ugh, don't look at me like that! Pretty please? Ugh, okay. But tell her that I'm not home. Why? I don't want to see her. That's mean. Cowdy feels sad because you always avoid her, you know? But the way she talks to me, she just teases me and enjoys it. <clears throat> and why are you the one pouting? You just don't understand girls' feelings at all. Hey, what was that? I didn't catch it. Nothing. Anyways, I'm telling Cowdy she can come. As she said that, she started typing something on her phone. I was just looking at my little sister, thinking of how to avoid Calvary. Yuya! I know you're hiding! Just give up and come out! <laughs> <sighs> Here we go. The bright, energetic voice coming from downstairs was starting to give me a headache. And... Come on, senpai! Your cute kohai is here, so come out and play! Cody, maybe you should knock? He, he might get angry. If I knock, he'll lock the door. I, I don't think so. Actually, yeah, he might. Shizuka? Your brother has never done such a thing! I couldn't help but grieve over the fact that my sister didn't believe in me. Why isn't Senpai home? I was able to hide under my bed as the door opened. So luckily, Calvary thought I wasn't in the room. But that was a close shave. Hmm, his shoes weren't at the entrance, so maybe he left while I went to pick you up? The reason my shoes aren't at the entrance is because in the worst case scenario, where the entrance is blocked, I can still escape from the window. Therefore, I brought my shoes in the room with me. It wasn't intended, but a very fortunate misunderstanding. Hmm, it's only Senpai that avoids me. He's only being shy because you're cute. No way! He got really angry when I hugged him the other time. Well, that's probably because he's shy, too. You came here to check your size for the school festival outfit, remember? Come on, let's measure you up. It seems as though the reason Kaori came here today was to measure her size for the outfit they're making for the school festival, which was coming soon. Shizuka is good at sewing, so she probably agreed to make Kaori's outfit or something. I'll measure here. What? You want to measure here? Please, Shizuka. Huh? You can't do that. I mean, what if he comes back? Yeah, what are you going to do? I'm already here, but... It's fine. It's Senpai's fault because he ran away. He can come in to see an unjust girl and be embarrassed. In that case, I think you're the one that's going to be embarrassed, Kaori. I'm going to make Senpai blush! But that wasn't the point of this. I guess it can't be helped. No, Shizuka! It can't be helped! No! Don't go! I saw Shizuka walk out of the room and started to feel very anxious. And then... <sighs> there we go. What? She's actually getting undressed? I'm causing you trouble again, Shizuka, aren't I? This is all Senpai's fault. Huh? I don't get why you have to do this all in my room! Stop blaming everything on me anyways! Why doesn't he realize how I feel? I've been approaching him for like three years now. What? I'm doing my best to show my affection, but how can he say that I'm just teasing him? So he starts avoiding me and now he's ran away? I can't believe him. Huh? Calvary's acting a little unusual. What the? 
Why doesn't he understand that I love him so much? <gasps> Shit! Huh? What was that? Was it... Did she realize? This is no good. What would she think of me? Kicking from under the bed. It was her fault that I ended up in this situation, but... I couldn't think straight with this bizarre stuff happening. But then... Hmm, maybe I'm imagining stuff. Maybe Kauri didn't notice the sound. <sighs> that was close. Well, that's what I thought. It's nothing. Right, senpai? Ah! Is it me or is Kauri, who I thought didn't realize I was under the bed, right in front of me? I see. I should have checked under the bed. Kauri? I... Uh... This, uh... Uh... Hey, senpai. I guess? I won't say anything about you seeing me naked. Because it's my fault. So she claims. But unfortunately, I couldn't see her naked. I could only see her legs from underneath the bed. And she's currently hiding her body with the clothes she took off. But, uh... That's not the important thing right now. But what do you think of eavesdropping on a girl's love confession? But uh, that was your fault as well. Can you say the same thing to Shizuka? Uh, Shizuka really hates dishonest things. She's actually a very sweet, kind girl. When she gets angry, her smile freezes the atmosphere. And she's incredibly scary. To be honest, she's scarier than my parents. Whatever happens, she can't know what happened earlier that I was under the bed. What do you want? Wise decision there. I want you to go to the school festival with me. What? Go to the what? How did that reaction come out? You were listening to my feelings earlier, right? And that's your reaction? How thick-headed are you? Thick-headed? But, I mean, like, anyone would panic if a girl asks you on a date. And your answer? Yes? Okay? All right? You just ignored me and gave me the same three choices? Huh? I can hear my brother's voice. Shizuka! You're back! Oh, so you're back too? So you got back while I was getting the cosplay outfit that I made for Kaori. Cosplay outfit? I thought she just went to go get a measure to see her size. And she didn't say anything seeing Kaori like this. She can be a little off sometimes. What were you two talking about? Oh, um... Gah! So, she's waiting for my answer! I could tell the Kauri was ready to change her stance if I had the wrong answer. I now had no choice. We were, um... Uh, talking about seeing the school festival together. <gasps> wow, really? That is nice! <laughs> if you say so. If you insist that you'll go with the school's number one idol, I guess I don't have a choice. She's having fun now. I'm happy for you, Cody. Thanks, Shizuka. Looking at my cute little sister and her best friend, the school celebrity, I was thinking about the soon approaching school festival and what to do about it. I guess Shizuka would be super mad at me if I didn't go. And on the day of the school festival... Sorry for making you wait, senpai! Oh, it's fine. What? What is this outfit? What do you mean? It's the one that Shizuka made for me. Why are you dressed like a cat? Why? I thought you liked this kind of style. What? What? No! I, I, I don't care about animal outfits or ears or any kinds of those stuff. Senpai, you're panicking way too hard. I said it's not like that! But you have lots of adult books where animal-like girls get played with, right? What? Why? How? Duh! You need to find a better place to hide your stuff, senpai. Inside your wardrobe is like screaming to be found. You went into my wardrobe? When did you sneak into my room anyways? No, it wasn't me. Shizuka found it and told me. Shizuka! Duh! My sister knows my sexual preferences. I can't live with that. It's all right. Shizuka said it can't be helped because he's a teenage boy. With a smile. That's tougher. I don't want her to understand. My pride is a brother. Oh, well, don't worry. Why don't we enjoy the school festival? Are you 
really gonna dress like that? Do you not like it? I thought it was cute, but... Um, well, um... You see, I don't know where to look. <laughs> you're thinking of lewd stuff, senpai. Well, you're the one that's dressed like that! Well, Shizuka designed this, so I'll tell her that. <sighs> okay. I take it back. I'm the one to blame. Mm, Shizuka really is your weak spot, isn't she? Well, she's scary when she's angry. I can actually relate to that. Come on, we've been here forever. Let's go. Oh, okay. I got it. Don't pull so hard. So we decide to go to the shops that many classes were selling us stuff at. <laughs> mm, this is good, isn't it? Kauri was eating a crepe with one hand and holding a tapioca tea with the other. My eyes were locked onto her happy face. Was she this cute? I mean, I know she's cute, but... Huh? What's the matter? Uh, nothing. You've, uh, got cream on your face. As I was staring at her, she suddenly looked me in the eyes. So I quickly looked away and pretended nothing happened. Um... Where do you want to go do next? Hey, Yuya-senpai? Uh-huh. Ta-da! Tapioca challenge! <laughs> Don't spill everything on me, senpai! You're the one that said something funny! What are you saying? Don't you know the tapioca challenge? Isn't that from ages ago? Well, you see, I, Kaori, can even make trends. That makes zero sense! But see, everyone's doing it. Oh my god! Everyone is doing the tapioca challenge! <laughs> How influential are you? Do you now understand how popular the person who likes you is? Oh, so you want to go in that direction. Why not? Aren't you happy? You could do with a little more of a smile. Why are you so pushy? The fact that I thought Kauri was cute may have been a one-time thing. Kauri was making an unsatisfied face right next to mine. It's because you won't give me any of your attention, senpai! I need your attention! You get all cocky when I do that, though. What's wrong with that? I'm surprised you can be so open. Well, it's you. I can say anything and get away with it. Oh, yes, senpai. Let's go and see the love confession stage today. Oh, pfft. That school festival tradition? I'm not interested in others' love confessions. Come on, let's go! It's a tradition! Mm. Oh, I remember Shizuka saying she might enter the show. Or something like that. Shizuka? Confessing her love? Who? Who is it? Well, I wonder. You're not gonna tell me, are you? You can find out for yourself if you go to the love confession stage. Mm. You have a point. Okay. I'm gonna ask the bastard what he's doing trying to date my sister. Senpai is such a protective brother. Towards the end of the school festival, I was tricked into going on the love confession stage. I love you! Oh my god! But even as the show progressed, I couldn't see a sign of Shizuka anywhere. I can't see Shizuka anywhere. Did she really say she was going to confess love? I said I just know that she was wondering whether to enter or not. By the way, I don't know that the love confessions actually succeed at a good rate. Well, yeah, I guess people are walking on air because of the festival. And it's also possible that the atmosphere makes it difficult to say no. I mean, I'm a normal high school student. Isn't it natural for me to think like that? I see. Oh, looks like the next one will be the last one. Even while talking to me, Kauri didn't miss the MC's words of a final challenger. She really can do anything, which... I do envy. Looks like it. Hey, wait! What are you doing? Hey, what's with that smile? Don't tell me. Please don't run away today, senpai! Wait! I tried to stop her, but she headed straight to the stage. I couldn't stop sweating looking at Kauri. Okay, everyone. This is our last contestant. And for this big finale, we have Miss Fujimiya. Our school celebrity! Hey everyone! Cowdy here! So tell me, Miss Fujimiya, does that mean that... Of course! I'll confess my love to the person I really like!
Yeah! yeah! Kaori's words fired up the audience. Kaori opened her mouth with a very serious expression. I've been in love with him since junior high. I used to be a stupid, nasty student. The senpai I met then properly scolded me for doing the wrong things and protected me in times when I was suspected of doing something wrong. You nowadays say that I'm annoying and avoid me, but if I'm in trouble, you always help me out. I love you! Yuya Kaido senpai, please go out with me! As Kaori said that, all the attention was now on me. But I didn't expect things to turn out like this, and I couldn't move. Come on, Cody's waiting for you. Shizuka! But I... Uh, I... I'm sorry everything happened so suddenly. I know you're not ready, but I think now you get that Cody is serious about you. She doesn't need an answer right now. I just want you to confront her feelings. Shizuka! Shizuka made me realize that I hadn't confronted Cowrie at all. I heard Cowrie's feelings under the bed, but I didn't think much of it even until now. I realized that I needed to do something about this, so I slowly started walking towards the stage. I never thought you would have done this much. Senpai, I'm serious. I get it. Well, I got it might be more accurate. Senpai? I'm sorry I didn't address your feelings. Now, I truly understand how you feel. I want to think about it properly. I might not be able to give you an answer right away. But I'll think it through properly. So, would you wait for my answer? <gasps> yes! I couldn't give an answer, as I didn't have a clear decision. But Kaori seemed satisfied once I told her that I would address her feelings. Of course, some of the audience members weren't happy with that answer. But I'm not doing this to entertain the audience, so it didn't really bother me. I promised that I would never betray the girl that told me her true feelings. Even though I had been running away for so long. Hey, why don't you become my boyfriend? This nationally famous actress asked me to become her boyfriend, but... Sorry, I can't. As usual, I rejected her. Of course, I know that she's just joking around. Until one day... Wait, I can't open the door! Aww. Long story short, we were locked up into a hotel room together. Everything started three months ago. Oh, Kanon Yuki's latest movie is out! I, Hira Toshio Kayasu, am in my final year of college. On that day, I was tired of all the job hunting and decided to rent out a romance DVD. Oh, a lady was reaching for the same one as me, and our hands touched each other. But more than that, I was surprised by who that lady was, because she happened to be a famous actress that had starred in so many movies and TV shows. Are you... Nagisa Akitsugi-san? You're too loud! Oh, uh, sorry. Huh? Is Nakisa-chan here? Oh no, I let everyone know! Aw? Uh -huh. Come with me! Wait, uh huh? I wasn't able to rent out anything because she pulled me out of the store. Phew, oh boy. People were about to find me. Whoa, it's actually the real Nagisa Kitsuki. Um, are you listening? Oh, yes, uh, I'm listening. I'm sorry for what happened. I forgive you, but don't be so loud whenever you come across an actress ever again, alright? Uh, yes, it's pretty unlikely that will ever happen again. Anyway, why did she bring me along to escape? So, could you please tell me your name? I'm Hiratoshi Okayasu. You can call me Hide. I'll call you Hide-kun. And you can call me Nagisa. It's actually my real name. By the way, do you like movies, Hide-kun? Yeah, and I'm a big fan of Kanon Yuki. I've been following her ever since she made her debut. She's such a strong girl, but you just want to protect her at all costs. Exactly! And her silver hair is so cute too! We started to talk about our favorite actress, and we were having a good time. I never knew that actresses rent DVDs too. Don't you watch movies on the internet? I mean, there's no way you'll be seen by a fan that way. Of course, the internet is handier, but I like to take a look at all of the options in the rental stores. You know that feeling when you can't really choose what you want to watch? I understand that. I also like to go to the bookstore to choose which books I'm going to read. Hirakun, you definitely have great taste! And we started talking about ourselves, but how did this happen? Wow, this is your room, huh? 
It's the first time I've ever been in a guy's room. S sorry, it's kind of messy in here. All I told her was that I had a canon movie that I would like to recommend, and now she was in my room. But is it okay for her to come into a room belonging to a normal guy like me? What? Are you thinking about lewd stuff? N no way. I just didn't want to ruin your reputation. Just kidding. Well, the movie star Nagisa Akitsuki may be like that, but I actually am a person with a lot of curiosities. Not to mention, anything I experience makes me a better actress. So thanks for bringing me here, Hidekun. Not at all. And now, I'm curious about you, Hidekun. If not, I wouldn't have brought you out of that store, nor would I have come to your place. What? <laughs> Stop teasing me. She's acting different from the way she acts in front of the camera. Is this her true self? We watched a romance movie together. When we came to the emotional scene, closer to the end... <laughs> as expected for an actress, she must be a highly empathic person. Wow, that was my first time watching it! It was a lovely movie! Her debut movie isn't widely known. Now she's an internationally known actress! I have to put in more work too! <laughs> Good luck with that. I would like to fall in love like that. Can you be having a boyfriend at this point of your career? Of course I can! I have the right to do so! Well, that is true. Hey, Hidekun. You don't have a girlfriend at the moment, right? So why don't you just date me? Huh? Isn't that a little sudden? But one million people will become your enemy. Hmm, <laughs> that's... Just kidding. You don't have to look so confused. <laughs> Sorry. Now that's a relief, but at the same time, I feel a little sad. <sighs> Nagisa-san was hanging around for about an hour until... <sighs> I'm kind of sleepy. Huh? Akitsuki-san? Let me take a rest for a little while. I have a lot of work today. Um, Nagisa-san? <sighs> wow, she's actually fallen asleep. She looks so vulnerable, but I want to get her some rest. Even though she's a famous actress, she's probably just a normal girl. No, wait a minute. Do normal girls come to guys' places on the day they meet? Nagisa-san was fast asleep for a while. Later that night, my doorbell was going off crazy. Yes, uh, who are... Is Nagisa Akitsuki here? Um, yes, she is, but who are you? I'm Yoko Akitsuki, Nagisa's sister and also her manager. Nagisa, time to get up. Uh, Yoko, why are you here? I tracked your cell phone location. I was worried because you weren't back on time. Stop curling up like that. Get up. No, I want to stay here for a few more minutes. You're causing trouble for this gentleman here. And we have plans to go to dinner with the movie director. Although Nagisa-san wanted to stay around for a little while longer, Yoko-san forced her to leave. I'm really sorry for causing you trouble. Please keep your mouth shut about what happened today. Um, I'm definitely not accepting that envelope. Uh, that's too scary. We decided on signing an NDA, but nobody would have believed me anyway, even if I told them. Bye, Hidekun. Let's hang out again. Nagisa, hurry up! Stop pulling me, sis. She left like a hurricane. Oh, I still can't believe she was in my room and that we watched a movie together. She told me we were going to hang out again, but I'm never going to see her ever again. I could still feel her warmth on my bed. That made me even more emotional. One week later... <laughs> I'm here! Huh? You came again? Let me in! Nagisa-san came to my place without any notice. I can't. Your sister will be worried about you, and don't forget, you're a famous actress. If I keep standing here, the paparazzi are going to come around in no time, so let me in, quick! I ended up letting her in. Since then, Nagisa-san came to my place every now and then. All we did was watch DVDs and chill together. I really couldn't understand her intentions. She's starting to come here a lot more often. That means there's a bigger risk of someone finding out. I wonder if she's not worried about that. Nagisa-san, why do you come to see me? I feel relaxed when I'm around you, Hidekun. You don't do anything lewd to me. I feel at ease. 
Well, I'm scared to make any mistakes because your sister would be furious. So, there's no big reason. I mean it. I... I know. Nagisa-san continued to come to my place whenever she had time. But there was one thing on my mind. Hey, why don't you be my boyfriend? I think we would be a good match. Sorry, I can't go against your one million fans. Uh-huh. You rejected me again. I knew she was just joking, but I always felt my heart start beating faster when she joked around like that. But that's the suspension bridge effect. Eventually, I was drawn to Nagisa-san. Rather, I eventually realized my true feelings towards her. Whenever we couldn't meet, we would stay in contact through our phones. One day, due to my carelessness, a friend from college saw me messaging her. Whoa, you're messaging a troll? How does this guy think he can fool people by calling himself Nagisa Akitsuki? Huh? Oh, uh, yeah. You should get a real girlfriend instead of talking to trolls on the internet. And before you do that, you should find a job for when you graduate. Whew, of course nobody would believe that I'm in contact with a famous actress. Girlfriend, job hunting, huh. I knew I was a failure. What my friend told me was true. I still haven't found out what to do after I graduate, and all of my friends have secure futures. I couldn't complete anything. A few days after that happened, huh. Nagisa Kitsuki was seen with her boyfriend. Nagisa was all over the media. Her partner appears to be Kenta Kuzuyama, an actor who is five years older than her. They have been seen staying at the same hotel room. No, the partner wasn't me. Of course, it would have been weird for me to contact her about this because I wasn't her boyfriend. She didn't contact me either. It was known that she never had a boyfriend before, so she was all over the news for a pretty long time. One week later, when I was coming home from college, Yoko-san was standing by the gate with a grave look on her face. Okayasu-kun, I have something to talk about. Could you come with me? Oh, uh, okay. She brought me to a rundown hotel. I thought we were going to have a conversation in the lobby, but she brought me to a room. Could you hand me your cell phone, just in case? Huh? Alright, but what is it that you want to talk about? I'm not the one who wants to talk to you. You'll find out in that room. Huh? Nagisa-san? Hide-kun? I was kind of anticipating she would be here, but she seemed like she didn't know that I was coming. Why are you here? Um, your sister brought me here. Do you want to take a seat? Oh, yeah. Did you see me on the news? Yes, they were making a huge deal out of your relationship. My sister told me to stay here until the situation calms down. I've already been in here for three days. Well, you were talking about a boyfriend, so I guess I should congratulate you. No! That was all a scam! A lie! Huh? What do you mean? It was all just a part of his plan to get more media exposure! On that day, we happened to be staying at the same hotel. By pure coincidence, we were leaving at the same time in the morning. When I went over to greet him, I was surrounded by paparazzi. That's when he pulled me closer and told them to stop taking pictures. It instantly went viral, and now all of my fans have disappeared. So, it was all a publicity stunt. He isn't a well-known actor. He must have tipped off the paparazzi himself. I know you won't believe me, but... Of course I believe you. I remember this Kuziyama guy from dating another idol. I know you aren't the type to fall for him. Even if one million fans were to turn on me, I'm always going to be on your side. Let's come up with a plan for what you're going to do now. Hidekun, yes. I'm sorry. Thank you. When everything's over, we can watch movies together. Oh, but maybe the paparazzi are going to come for you again. Even if that happens, I wouldn't mind if it was you, Hidekun. After that, Nagisa-san and I came up with a plan together. That's my plan. What do you think? If you're okay with that, Hidekun. Let's go tell Yoko-san about it. Once we tried to leave the hotel room... Wait! I can't open the door! Huh? Are we locked in? Oh no, I can't even call the front desk on my phone! I handed my cell phone to Yoko-san. Oh no, this too! Why were we locked in though? Could this be all because of Yoko-san? A few hours passed without anyone coming to search for us. I... I think I have to go take a shower. Huh? Yeah, g go for it! No peeking! Oh, uh, okay. I mean it! Is she asking me to come in with her? I'm just taking off my clothes here. Don't come in! 
I get it. Just go in. I'm still taking off my top. You don't have to explain everything. Nagisa-san went into the bath, but the hotel walls were so thin, I couldn't relax at all. I'm out. Your turn. Huh? Me too. Don't you think you should go in before going to bed? Um, maybe. I came out of the shower to see Nagisa-san hiding her face in the blankets. I'm out. Okay, let's go to bed then. Um, shouldn't we wait for someone to come and help us? I don't think anyone is coming until the morning. And so, now we were in bed together. Um, Nagisa-san, isn't this a little problematic? We're, we're just sleeping in the same bed. <laughs> just? You're using my arm as a pillow. But when you do this, I feel at ease. Do you not like it? Not that I don't like it. You always take the initiative, don't you? I love you, Hidekun. Uh, love? Hidekun, can I continue to be by your side from now on? Continue? You mean, just as a friend? No, as a partner. I hope you aren't joking like you usually do. <laughs> no, I'm serious. In fact, I was always just laughing it off because I was embarrassed. Well, I don't think the media is going to like it. But I don't mind getting bashed by them, if I'm with you. Really? So, is that an okay? Yes. Please, have me as your boyfriend. I'm so happy! I love you, Hidekun! She must have felt relaxed. She fell asleep pretty quickly. Now, I need to do something about this situation. We can't be locked in here forever without anyone finding us. Wait, it's open? Oh? Are you going somewhere? Huh? You didn't lock us in? Yoko-san was sitting in front of the room. She was watching over us. I don't even have the keys. Nagisa must have tricked you. Wow, her acting was great. Don't be mad at her. This is how much she wanted to be with you. By the way, Yoko-san, why did you bring me here in the first place? Well, I felt bad for Nagisa. She kept crying saying she wanted to see you. After all, I'm her sister before her manager. She was really shocked with all of the news about her. Oh, I can't blame her. All of the fans that she accumulated over the years, they disappeared. Oh no, what a dull person you are. She was shocked because she thought you might have lost interest in her. Huh? She really liked you. Did you not realize? No, I always told myself that it's impossible. And sorry to let you know now, but we decided to start a proper relationship. Are you okay dealing with the media? She's already in a lot of trouble. I... I just want to support her. I'm happy to hear that. I don't know how I can help her out, but I came up with a plan. Here's how it goes. Yoko-san was considering Nagisa-san's retirement, but once I told her our plans, she agreed to go with it. The next morning, when we came out of the hotel, we were surrounded by cameras. Akitsuki-san! What's going on? He's not in the industry, is he? What happened to your relationship with Kuziyama-san? What's going on? I'm just hanging out with my boyfriend. Huh? Everything that was on the news about me and Kuziyama-san was a lie. Actually, I had written everything down about Nagisa-san visiting me in my diary. All of the dates and the events written down in my diary and our phone history served as an alibi. It was revealed that Kuziyama was using her to get more attention, and he got cancelled. On the other hand, Nagisa-san held a press conference confidently talking about our relationship, which was very well received. Our plan worked out perfectly, but we were lucky that it worked out so smooth. I got scared whenever I imagined the plan going wrong. One year has gone by. But you didn't have to retire from your acting career just because of all the media attention you got. No, I don't care about being loved by a million people as long as I've got you, Hidekun. Nagisa quit being an actress, and I had graduated college. Well, it's about time. Let's start today's stream. What are we going to do today? It seems like Yoko knows, but you still haven't told me. It's going to be a surprise. Nowadays, we live and work together as couple YouTubers. This turned out to be a big success, and now we have 1 million subscribers. Yoko-san also quit her company, and she started her own agency. She is our manager right now. Anyways, I'm really nervous, because I have an important announcement to make on the stream today. So, today, we have something important to tell all of you. 
I know this isn't going to be important at all. Five seconds from now, I'm interested in how Nagisa and our one million viewers are going to react to the surprise. I'm Futa Kazama. I'm a 21-year-old college student. I live by myself. Look at this rain. One day it was raining pretty hard as I was walking home. Huh? Uh, is she okay? She's just sitting there. She doesn't even have an umbrella. Weird. Hey, you okay? You're gonna catch a cold. None of your business. Oh, okay. Well, I guess everyone's got their story. Maybe she just wanted to be left alone. <sighs> what? Go away. I'll call the cops. I think you should. At least they'll take you somewhere warm. <sighs> you run away from home or something? Why today? It's pouring out. What? I... It just started raining all of a sudden. Ah, oh, right. It was pretty sunny in the morning. You don't have money to buy an umbrella? No. I just ran out of the house, so... So you did run away from home. Shut up! So what? Where do you live? Your parents must be really worried. Whatever. I'm 18. I'm not a kid anymore. I can go wherever I want. You can't stop me. Hmm. I guess she was right. But still, I couldn't just leave her out in the rain like this. I don't think she had anywhere to go. Uh, what's your name? You go first. Uh, I'm Futa Kazama. And you are? Yae. Yae Yakumo. Yae Yakumo. What? I know it's a pretty rare name. No, that's not what I meant. Um, my house is right there. Want to stay there until the rain stops? What? Why would I go to your house? I don't even know you. I can't trust you. Forget it. I'm not going into some stranger's house. No way. Ugh. Fine, but I'm leaving right after the rain stops. Fine by me. Get away from me. What? It's a small umbrella. Deal with it. She's so rude. Ugh. What? Uh, nothing. Uh, okay. We're almost there. Hurry up. I'm getting cold. That's your fault. He's soaked. He had an umbrella on top of me the entire time. He seemed fine, so I didn't notice. Whatever. Show off. Still, that was kind of nice of him. We're here. Hurry. Turn on the heater. Yeah, yeah. You sure you're okay? Go and take a shower. I got some towels and clothes you can use. What? Shower? Pervert! You're trying to do something to me, aren't you? How dare you! Look, if you want to keep wearing that, that's fine, but... You're soaking wet. Ugh. Fine, just stay here then. I'm gonna hop in the shower. Wait! Huh? Fine, fine. I'll shower. Happy? Uh... Okay. I'm finished. Oh, okay. Uh... What? What's wrong? No, oh, nothing. I didn't notice it before, but she's pretty cute. Stop staring at me like that. Don't get any ideas. I'll... Okay, I'm gonna hop in the shower. I... huh? She's lucky that I was the one who found her. There are all kinds of weirdos out there. Who knows what could have happened. What the... I guess he's really not interested in me. Whatever. So, what now? What do you mean? You don't want to go home, right? Plus, it's still pouring out, so... Either way... You should probably stay until it stops. When is it gonna stop? I heard tomorrow morning. Pervert, screw you! What? You're telling me to spend the night here? No way! I don't feel safe here! I promise I won't do anything. Ugh, I don't trust you. <sighs> whatever. Here, eat this. Huh? What's this? Dinner. You must be hungry. Thanks. It smells weird. It's tuna and banana. What the hell? That's disgusting, I'd... This is good. Right? Never tried it before? Try it. Trust me. Um... Huh? You're sleeping on the floor? Why not? I got a blanket. It's fine. That's not what I mean. Come on, go to sleep. Wait... Good night. He fell asleep. He didn't even try to touch me. Good night. Thanks. <sighs> You're welcome. Good morning. Good morning. I thought she'd be gone by now, but she was still there when I woke up. It was really nice out. I guess she'll be leaving now. You're not going home? No. But look, it's so nice out. I want to stay here a little longer. Uh... What? Nothing. 
Here's breakfast. What is all this? Beans and tomato. Ew, what? What the? Wow, this is good. Told ya. Some soy sauce and vinegar adds a nice twist, too. Hmm. Hey. Yeah? Why aren't you asking me anything? Aren't you curious why I ran away from home? Why I don't want to go back? Sure I am. But then... You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. <gasps> Where you go, what you do, is up to you, so it's none of my business. I'm just helping you because I feel like it. You're 18, right? You're an adult now, so... You're free to do whatever you want. <laughs> what? You're pretty nice. Yeah? Yeah. Not sure about that. And after I told her that she was free to do whatever, she started acting out! Hey! What the?! I'm bored. Let's go out. Fine, just get off me! Yay! Get off! She was all over me now. And she wasn't going home anytime soon. How long is she gonna stay here? <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, hey. I was making you some dinner. Oh, you shouldn't have. I don't want to be a total leech, you know. I can do things around the house. Wait, how long are you going to stay here for? Huh? I asked you a question! It's been two weeks! Your parents must be worried sick! They didn't call you? They actually did. I told them I was with a friend. What if they call one of your friends? They'll find out! No worries, I got no friends, so... That sounds... sad. Let's eat! Okay. How is it? It's good. Thanks. <laughs> Yay! What's wrong? Oh, nothing. No, I think she's growing on me. She's cute. It's been three years since I broke up with my girlfriend and left home. I thought living alone would be awesome, but... But you're a better cook than me. Maybe I'll throw in some weird stuff next time. Weird stuff? No, it's science! What? I thought you just put some random food together and got lucky. No, you know how long it took for me to find all that? It took a lot of work. Still, seems pretty random to me. I enjoyed having her around. Spending time with someone else wasn't all bad. I never realized that. You should sleep in your own bed. It's a single bed. You can squeeze in. No, we're not a couple. A couple? She was just a roommate. I was the landlord and she was the resident. Nothing more, nothing less. At least for now. The thing is, my parents already picked out a husband for me. Oh. My parents decided everything without asking me, and... I found out that I was supposed to marry some stranger when I turned 18. I had no idea. My parents were really strict, and... I never really got to do anything I wanted to. So I always wanted to be free, you know? Live on my own, and... I'm tired of my parents telling me what to do. So that's why you ran away from home. Yeah, I'm not marrying some stranger. I want to marry someone I fall in love with. Yai? Huh? You like someone? Yeah. I see. Of course she does. She's 18. Classmates, people at work, who knows? And look at her. She's so pretty. I bet the guys are all over her. <sighs> but she's right. You've got to take control of your own life. You can't let someone else tell you what to do. Okay, I'll help you, Yae. Huh? Help me? Yeah. I'll talk to your parents for you. This is the right thing to do. We're here. Come on. Uh, hold on! What? You can't back down now. Come on! I know, but... I got your back. Don't worry. Yeah, but... you sure? Huh? I mean, I'm really grateful that you're here, and I trust you too, so... Okay. But why are you doing this for me? You said this was none of your business. Don't worry about that. I'm doing this for myself, too. Just trust me. Come on. Yes? Ah! Hey, Dad. Who is it, dear? Yae! Yae, you're back. <sighs> we were so worried about you. We were worried sick. Yeah, you can't just run away from things like that. You're an adult now. You gotta grow up. That's right, Dad. I'm an adult now. So I'm not gonna do everything you tell me anymore. I'm gonna make my own decisions from now on. What? We only want what's best for you and... Not true. I'll decide who I want to marry. I'm not marrying some stranger you picked out for me, Mom and Dad. Plus, I already love someone else. What? But listen, we made the decision years ago. Think of the other family. We can't just cancel it because you like someone else. 
That's not a problem, sir. Huh? Who are you? Oh, Dad, he's... Her fiancé. He wants to cancel too, so... What? Long time no see. I'm Fuda Kazama. Well, you probably don't remember me. It's been 13 years, so... 13 years ago? The Kazamas and Yakumos made a deal. But I guess she didn't recognize me. I was the one she was supposed to marry when she turned 18. Me! Futa Kazama. When I heard her name, I recognized her instantly. But I guess she didn't. We were in kindergarten back then, so... I didn't blame her. I let her stay at my house because I wanted to help her. But at the same time, I wanted to know what kind of person she was before I got married to her. I thought maybe I can actually fall in love with my future wife. But I shouldn't have. I wish I never fell in love with her. Uta, I... I had no idea. I understand. And I understand what Yae was going through. I always wanted to be free myself. So I gotta let her go. I wanna let her live her life. Thank you, sir. So please, let her marry whoever she wants. Yae, thank you for everything. I really enjoyed spending time with you. Goodbye. Um, actually, he's... Huh? Um, he's the guy I was talking about. The guy I love. <gasps> what? <laughs> you seem happy. Of course I am. I had no idea it was you. <laughs> I thought you weren't marrying someone your parents picked out for you. I take it back. <laughs> <sighs> After that, I asked my parents about what happened 13 years ago. Yaya and I lived in the same neighborhood as kids, but when she was five, her family had to move away. But she didn't want to be separated from me. She cried and cried. I was eight at the time, and I was pretty upset too, if I remember correctly. So our parents decided to make a deal. Yaya was really happy when her parents told her, but I guess she didn't remember any of it. But I did. I was eight at the time, so... Hey, when should we throw our wedding? What? Relax! We're not even married yet! Tomorrow? The day after that? The day after that? Sometime this year. Hey, stop it, Takumi. Why don't you do something about it? That's why you're not popular, Sasuke. Let go! Hey, Takumi-kun. Are you bullying Kawatawa-kun again? Whoa, Hiyori's angry. Cut it out! <sighs> I'm Sasuke Kawada. I'm dull and unpopular. The guy who was making fun of me was the handsome Takumi Higashiyama. He seems to be into Iyori Takashima, who's a beauty that gets on with everyone well. And he's always trying to make a move on her. Next time I see you doing that, I'll be telling the teacher. Well, scary. Alright, I swear to God I won't do that again, so... Iori, be my girlfriend! Not happening. I need to cook dinner, so I'm going home. Why can't you cook something for me, too? What are you even talking about? Huh. See ya, Iori. Uh, man, she's so hot. True. You always shut up when Iori comes around. Could it be that you like her, Sosuke? Huh? Not a chance. You're too dull and boring. Iori's completely out of your league. Give up before your heart is broken, okay? Uh-huh. Takumi, saying all that stuff? I don't need to be popular. Heck, I'm so frustrated. I'm home. Welcome home. Your dinner's ready, Sosuke. So soothing. Huh? What's going on, Sosuke? Nothing. I'm happy to be home, Iori. Takumi would be so surprised if he found out that you and I lived together. He'd probably cry. What's more, if he found out that we're going to get married, he could jump off a building. That I don't want to happen. It has already been decided that Iori and I are going to get married after we graduate high school. Our parents told us to enjoy our lives as students to the fullest, and therefore, we live together. Were you feeling down because of Takumi-kun? Yes. I shut up in front of you because I don't want him to find out that we're living together. But he seems to have gotten the wrong idea, and that was irritating. <laughs> so, Sake, when you talk with me, you can't stop but put a big smile on your face. I... it can't be helped. That's because I like you. I know. I must admit that Takumi-kun is pushing things a little too far. He never gives up even though you've already rejected him. Oh boy. I would love to just tell everyone the truth. Me too. Hey, let's talk about something more fun. Such as the summer festival tomorrow. True. You're going home to your parents' place once after school, right? Yep. My mom will also prepare a yukata for you too. I've got to thank her. 
I wonder what kind of patterns it'll have this year. Any type will suit you, Sosuke. <laughs> Sosuke, you're dull as usual today. S stop it. Unpopular, lame, boring. How are you even staying alive? Why do you keep talking to me then? There's only one reason. Yori being such a kind person, she always comes to help you. Huh? You see? Here she comes. Takumi-kun, you're taking this too far. No, we were just chatting friendly. Really? If you do anything to Kawatawa-kun again, I'm going to be really furious. Yori, you're such a kind person. See? Just a little more effort and she's going to fall for me, right? I didn't see it that way. Stop being jealous. Once Iori and I start dating, you're probably going to cry. <laughs> this guy, does he really need to make so much fun of me? What are you guys talking about? Nothing, just a little bit of bro talk. Creepy. Hmm. Oh, Iori, why don't we go to the summer festival together? Nope, I'm going with someone else. Be true to yourself, I know you want to come with me. Who even said that? I'm going home already. Bye! Hmm, interesting woman she is. No, you just got rejected. Nah, this is all about playing around. She's testing me. An unpopular guy like you would never understand. Anyways, Yori is getting a little bit ahead of herself. Huh? I'm gonna make her fall in love with me, whatever it takes! <laughs> this guy! Let's just say I can forgive him for all the teasing. But if he does anything to Iori, I'm never going to forgive him. Hello, this is Sasuke Kawada. Um, I wanted to ask you something. Whoa, Iori, are you on your own? Takumi-kun. I thought you said you were gonna be with someone. Did he dump you? That's not what happened. And how many girls have you got behind you? Are you jealous? No way. Do you want to join in? I'm fine. Stop acting like you don't want to. It has to be fun to enjoy the summer festival with a popular man like me. Don't you think so too, Iori? You need to listen to me. Oh! Hey, you're late! Iori? Sorry, the streets were filled with people. Were you fine? Yep. Here, I got cotton candy for you. Thank you. Let's have it together. You're sharing it with me? Say, ah. Whoa, look at that super hot guy over there. So handsome. And he looks great in that yukata. S stop ignoring me, Yori. Why are you talking to my fiance? Fiance? First of all, who are you? Who am I? You really haven't noticed? Huh? It's Sosuke. Sosuke Kawada. The guy you always made fun of for being lame and unpopular. Huh? Where, where are those lame glasses you always have on? Yori told me to try contact lenses. Wait, weren't you skinnier than that? The Yukata shows your body shape well, doesn't it? Sasuke looks skinnier when he wears the school uniform. You were always shutting up in front of Yori. That was just an act. I didn't want you to notice that we were a couple. We're always lovey-dovey at home. Oops, sorry. I didn't need to tell him that. At home? Could you guys be... We live together. Is that a problem? What? Sosuke and Iori live together. Is it fine to tell him, Sosuke? Yes. We don't need to hide it anymore. Takumi will give up for once. Hey, Takumi, I'm asking you to never bother Iori again, all right? <gasps> and don't bully Sosuke ever again! No! Now I'm so relieved. Let's go, Iori. Yep. Can I get one of those candy apples? Why not? Those guys. Just you wait and see. I'm going to make them regret making fun of the super alpha male Takabi-sama. On Monday, the next week. What? What is this? Illicit sexual relationship? What the hell is this flyer? How could anyone do such a thing? Ha ha ha! I wonder who it was. It's obviously you. Who else could it be? Oh, really? Show me some proof. You? Now you guys have to quit school and become a high school dropout. What a loser! Shut up! I'm not interested in a good academic background. Well, if Yori kneeled down and begged me, please make me your girlfriend. I could rip that piece of paper apart. Huh. I would never do that. Uh-huh. Too bad. Ahem. What's all this ruckus? Is that the chairman? Why is the chairman here? Today he's paying his monthly visit. Anyway, what's going on with all of this noise? 
Oh, Mr. Chairman, let me explain to you. Hmm, and you are? I'm Takumi Higashiyama. This chaos was caused by a Sosuke Kawada and a Yori Takashima. Apparently, these two live together. Huh? Living together? Iori-chan and Kawatawa-kun? Ah, <sighs> is that so? Thank you for letting me know, Higashiyama-kun. But, I don't see where the problem is. Huh? Both of their families have agreed upon that, so what's the problem? Huh? Sosuke-kun is the heir of the traditional Japanese onsen hotel, Kawataya. And Iori-san is the youngest daughter of the kimono dealer, Takashi Maya. I knew that it had already been decided when they were little, that they were going to get married when they grew up. Huh? I myself am a regular of Kawataya, and I have high expectations for Sosuke-kun's future. You're flattering me, Mr. Chairman. I knew that they were going to be living together before they entered high school. I also knew that they wanted to keep it a secret so that people wouldn't make any weird assumptions about them. Thank you for cooperating with us back then. Last week, I got a phone call from Sosuke-kun and was very surprised to hear that he wanted to make it official that they were living together. Yes, I think that's the right thing to do to protect Iori. That was a clever decision, although he couldn't prevent all this from happening. What? You're an heir of a hotel? That's cheating! I don't care if you're her fiancé. Living with Iori is just unfair... Illicit. Huh? We've been in love since we were three years old. What's illicit about that? High school kids living together and getting it off every night. Illicit! That's just illicit! I haven't done anything to her yet. She's more important than my life. I take care of her. So Sasuke. On the other hand, you, Takumi, are always going out with different girls. That's way more illicit. How many girls were with you at the summer festival last night? Huh? Ho ho. Was it Higashiyama-kun? Let me hear you out in my office. <gasps> w wait a minute. I haven't done anything wrong. You made this flyer, huh? Come on over here. No! After Takumi was brought away crying out loud, we were congratulated by our classmates. Congratulations. You got to invite me to your wedding. Y you guys are rushing things. <laughs> Finally, we don't have to act like we don't live together. Half a year later, we graduated high school, got married, and started working the hotel. We are both training to become the master and the landlady of the hotel. After the chairman scolded him, Takumi graduated high school and ran away to another country. We're going to be having our wedding next year, but there are no plans of inviting Takumi. Not that he would come even if we invited him. Phew, today was another busy day. Of course, I'm happy for the hotel's future that we get so many customers. Exactly. Talking about the future of the hotel, don't you think we need an heir? Huh? Does that mean... Why not? We're married after all. W wait At least we should become professionals at our job first. And we haven't had our wedding yet. <laughs> You're in a panic. You're true. I need to be a little more patient. Please, marry me! Huh? This is the second time I was on the school rooftop with the cutest girl in our school. The first time was when she confessed her love for me. What do you mean getting married? One week ago, she asked me to come up to the rooftop. I, Kazuhiro Mizuguchi, found a cute letter inside my desk. Please come to the rooftop when class is finished, Kurauchi. Why would Kurauchi-san want to talk to me? Narumi Kurauchi was the cutest girl in our school. I heard she gets scattered by model agencies a lot, but she keeps rejecting them because she isn't interested. Although she had such good looks, she was still a very humble and kind person. She was friends with both the popular kids and the introverts. When I told people that I was in the same class as her, they would say, You're really in the same class as her? How's it like to breathe in the carbon dioxide that came out of her mouth? They were that jealous. That's how popular she was. And now she wants to talk with me. Huh. I've seen this many times in romance games. This is a prank. I looked around and realized that girls from the popular group kept glancing at us. They must be checking how I reacted to Kurochi-san's letter. This is definitely a penalty game. I know that she's usually not the type of person who does this, so she must have a proper reason for this. After class, I headed up to the rooftop. I thought students weren't allowed in, but the door was surprisingly unlocked. Oh, you came. <sighs> so cute. This was the first time for me to talk with the cutest girl in our school. She gently pulled her hair onto her ear because the wind was blowing. 
The aura that was coming out of her just by doing such a simple move was what made her so special. Sorry for suddenly calling you here. No, not at all. I have a lot of time. But still, I'm going to make this quick. Please, be my boyfriend! Yes! Now she completed her game! Well done. Huh? I'm sorry you had to go through this, but I know how the other girls made you do it. Um, aren't you happy at all? Why aren't you losing your consciousness for being too happy? Oh, sorry. Should I have done so? I didn't know what you were expecting. Do you mean you're not going to date me? Nope, I'm not going to date you. Does the penalty game include dating me? But there's no point playing along for all of that. I is that so? Huh, I get it. Alright, see ya. Wow, I just talked to the cutest person I've ever met. I'll take that any day, even if it's a penalty game. I was smiling all the way home, not realizing what was happening to her right behind me. Good job! Mizuguchi went home on his own. Did you tell him it was a prank yourself? I told you to let us know when to hold up the prank card. Ted... Huh? I got rejected, so it wasn't necessary to show him that it was a prank. He rejected you? Really? He must have gotten scared because he's an introvert. Do you think so? Anyways, that's the first time I got treated that way by a man. Oh, I know! Hmm? <laughs> kurauchi sans friends must be talking about me. My prediction was half right, half wrong. At this time, kurauchi san had to come up with an insane idea. The next day, I found another letter in my desk. It was in a white envelope with a heart-shaped seal. <laughs> this is one of those love letters you see in shoujo mangas. It was from kurauchi san as I expected. She asked me to come to the rooftop again. Mm, the penalty game must include dating me. I don't want my first girlfriend to be part of a game, so I guess I'll reject her again. After class, kurauchi san was there before me again on the rooftop. S sorry for bringing you here again. <gasps> it's the same pose as yesterday again. But today, she had a little confused look on her face and was also blushing a little bit. But that made her not only cuter, but also sexier. I knew it was all part of a penalty game, but I was nervous. Um, it's about what I asked you about yesterday. Uh, yes? Please, sign this document! Uh, huh? Is she trying to make me her joint guarantor or something? I was confused, but took a look at the papers anyway. She had a cute sticky note saying, sign this part, which said, Name of groom? Is this a marriage certificate? Yes, if you don't want to date me, why don't we just get married? Aww? What? Stop blushing and... Please explain what's going on! When I asked her, kurauchi san told me honestly that yesterday's confession was a penalty game. Sorry, the target was chosen by pure luck. It's not like we wanted to bother you specifically, Mizuguchi-kun. And I tried to refuse, but my seniors put a lot of pressure on me, so... I get it. I'm not annoyed at all, but why didn't she refuse today's penalty game? Penalty game? She looked so confused and cute. Some guys would happily get pranked by her. While I was thinking such things, Kurochi-san said the unthinkable. I truly want to marry you, Mizuguchi-kun! What the heck did she just say? Apparently, she was so shocked to get rejected by me yesterday. It was actually her first time confessing her love, and she was never let down by anyone when she asked someone for something in her whole life. Why was he so cold to me? She thought, and came to a conclusion. You only want to date girls with marriage in mind, right? Wow, you're pretty airheaded. I never realized that this was her true self. I need to get rid of the misunderstandings. And therefore, I don't want to start a relationship with someone I don't know much about. Then how am I supposed to recover then? How am I supposed to know that? Uh, I couldn't go to sleep last night in order to come up with this plan. Um, if I said, yes please, would that make you happy? No, that's obviously fake! Oh boy. Anyway, I'm only going to date and marry someone who I like, and who likes me. Huh! We're not talking about winning or losing, so stop acting like that. Although, you look cute like that too. I decided to leave her like that and went home. There was nothing more that I could do for her. On the next day, whew, we've only finished our second class, but I'm already tired. Mizuguchi? You haven't handed in your plans after your graduation, right? The teacher was telling you to hand it in quickly. 
Oh, I forgot. Thanks for letting me know. Um, I think I already filled it in and left it in my desk. Oh, here it is. Huh? What is this? I knew I wrote the name of a college nearby on the top, but that was erased and had some cute handwriting. And a marriage certificate was also clipped to the piece of paper. Kuroji-san, can I have a moment with you? Yep. Oh, that guy's gonna confess. <laughs> He's got guts. No, it's a lot more complicated than that. I brought her to a staircase where there weren't many people. Do we want to go to the rooftop? No, this won't take long. True, you're just going to hand me the papers. Here, give me the marriage certificate. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Did you think I signed it? Don't you remember I refused to do that yesterday? Uh-huh. I thought you were able to change your mind after a good night's sleep. Weren't you able to imagine yourself being my husband by looking at that piece of paper in your desk? No way! I couldn't help but loudened my voice. Going back and forth with her like this was so fun. She had a lot of interesting things to say. <laughs> what? I've been thinking this since the last time I talked to you, but I never knew that you were so expressive with all those facial expressions. I thought you were the cool and quiet type. I'm not cool. I just don't have any friends to let out my emotions with. I was just amazed when the bell rang. The world history teacher is pretty strict, so let's get back quickly. Yes, I'll try my best. Try what? Now, because she tries her best, I had to keep reacting to everything she did. We didn't have class because it was a Saturday, but... Delivery! Huh, my mom must have ordered something from one of those shopping channels. Coming! Please, sign here and stamp it. Hmm? It requires a sign and a stamp? Wait! <laughs> This is the marriage certificate! Ah, you found out! Kuroji-san, what on earth are you doing? This is a Saturday! I thought I would be able to catch you off guard and get you to sign the paper! Never happening! I ripped the marriage certificate apart. I thought that would send her the message. Oh no, my precious certificate! Just kidding! You can download those for free on the internet! I'll print one out again! I didn't know that! She left a big envelope with me which had a lot of marriage certificates. What a waste of ink and paper. The next day, I was heading to the bookstore to get the newest volume of Canon's rom-com mangas when the lady with a hat on began talking to me. Excuse me, sir. We are doing a survey. Could you please spare us some time? Uh, I guess I can. Thank you. Now, could you start off by signing here and writing your address here? Uh, all right. Whoa, it's a marriage certificate. Huh. This is going to be difficult. This person's such a beauty, but she's wasting it. In the library. If you want to borrow a book, you need to sign here. Ah, oh, that's the marriage certificate. On my way to school. Please, help us out with our petition. I'm just going to ignore this one. Please, sign here. Ask someone else. I can give you an autograph of Kanan Chan if you sign this piece of paper. How about that? How about that? Well, I really would like an autograph from her. But I have to hold that in for now. Of course, she was just playing around, so I could just give her the sign and admit to my loss. But at this point, I also couldn't give up anymore. After two weeks of refusing her, once again, I was called up to the rooftop. Not by kuraochi san but by one of the senpais. Ugh, this is a problem. The senpais who were on the rooftop were more of the delinquent type. Hey, you know why you're here, right? Uh, has it got something to do with kuraochi san Exactly. Aren't you getting a little ahead of yourself? She's such a kind person. She's going to keep on playing with you until you are satisfied. You should stop being selfish and let her go. Apparently, Kuroji-san wasn't hanging out with other people anymore because she was chasing me around. That's why these guys are hating on me. Uh, maybe it's about time. In all honesty, I was enjoying my interactions with her. It was the first time in my life spending such a long time with a beauty like her. To be even more honest, I was just happy that she would even talk to me. Sorry, I can't do that. Huh? I want her to hang out with me until she gets fed up. We live in two different worlds. Please, let me enjoy my time with her. Now, you little nerd. We're not asking you to do us a favor. We're giving you an order. Whoa, scary. Teacher, there are people on the rooftop. Hey, you aren't allowed in here. Oh no. I was confused at what just happened. Kuroji-san brought a teacher with her, 
and the senpais ran away. Am I safe now? Oh, that was scary. Are you alright? Yep, thank you. No, you're not alright. And this is my fault. Kurochi-san. Kurochi-san looks like she was about to start crying. I was patting her head before I even realized it. Thank you for coming to save me. So now, are you going to sign the certificate? Nope. She was silent for a moment, and she started to speak. Deep down at the bottom of my heart, I knew that I was causing you trouble, Mizuguchi-kun. But these two weeks were so fun for me, so I didn't want to quit. I would have kept on coming at you, even if you had signed the paper. <laughs> it's nice to hear that. Were you listening to me in the senpai's conversation? Yes. Well, you know how I feel. I was happy that you came to play around with me every day. Misaguchi-kun? Well, I guess we should go to the city hall and hand in our certificate. Wait, weren't you listening to me? Which means our feelings are mutual, right? My parents told me that they wouldn't mind even if I got married as a student, so no problem. Stop brightening your eyes up like that. It makes me really want to do that. Why don't we? Well, first of all, we can't do anything even if we get there. We're 17. Huh? Huh? Wait a minute. Didn't you know we can't get married until we're 18? Really? I heard you could get married at 16 if your parents gave you permission. It used to be like that, but only for women. Nowadays, you have to be over 18 to get married, both genders. So there's no point in signing those documents. No way! It was like her soul had gotten away. I couldn't help but find her reaction funny. You always get good grades, so I thought you would have known. That doesn't make me a smart person. I put in a lot of work when an exam is coming up. If I don't do so, people will look down on me as an airhead who happened to have good grades. <laughs> beautiful people have their own problems, huh? Am I beautiful? Super beautiful. But you must get that a lot. <laughs> I've gotten that a lot. But it feels like the first time someone has said it to me. It feels great to get a compliment like that. Uh, cute. Insanely cute. But that's not the only reason why my heart is pounding. It's because I am really in love with her, regardless of her looks. I I'll be turning 18 next year. Yes, I am too. Oh, you were right. We'll both be 18. Not to mention, I have all of those certificates you brought to my place. Which means we can get it wrong as many times as we wish. That wasn't what I was trying to say, but yes. We ended up getting married when we became 22. And now, our life as a married couple was about to begin. The kitchen is done. Let's go shopping then. We also need to make a spare key. Oh, I suddenly remembered, but why were we able to get onto the rooftop when we were in high school? The doors were locked, weren't they? I had a pair of keys. You know, the way when you say please to a teacher, they just listen to you? Wow, you're really amazing. I was amazed, but at the same time, I understood how hard it would be to say no to her. Yosuke, you like our classmate Hana Takanashi? Uh, yeah, I do. But I don't really have much contact with her. She's pretty and has a nice body. <laughs> Too good for me. Leave it to me. Hayato, what are you planning to do? I'll set up a party. I was talking with my coworker Hayata Saigasa, who I met in college, about my love life, but... Sorry. I like you, Nitagun, but you're just not my type. Oh, I see. Uh, I guess that's too bad for me. <laughs> I was actually aiming for Hayato-kun today. <laughs> I guess that's what she wants. Sorry, Yosuke. See you later. W what? Not only was I dumped by the girl I liked, but I was also betrayed by my friend. <sighs> if I knew this was gonna happen, I wouldn't have consulted Hayato. I was probably used as a sacrifice. <sighs> Hayato is the worst. Wait, no. I was stupid for trusting him in the first place. I just realized it's been a while since I've gone home on the last train. It's only me and the girl next to me on the train. She's pretty. I wonder why she sat next to me, even though there's other seats open. Aww, wh what's wrong with you? Oh, sorry. I'm kinda drunk. Uh, are you okay? Sorry, can I stay like this a little longer? But this is really awkward. She's soft and smells really good. Sorry for causing you trouble. 
No, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Can you get home okay? I think I'll be okay. A girl walking alone at midnight. I'm kind of worried. Wait a minute. I've heard this girl's voice before. Have I met you before? Are you hitting on me? No, not at all. <laughs> Sorry, Yosuke-san. I'm Chihaya. Chihaya-chan? Hayato's sister? Yes, I'm his sister. You remember me. Uh, yeah. Last time I saw you was three years ago. Yes, I was only a high school student back then. Now I'm a junior in college. Time flies. It's already been two years since I started working. You've grown so much. For a second, I didn't recognize you. I was just pulling a prank since you didn't notice me. <laughs> I thought Chihaya-chan was more of a shy girl. I guess college changed her. How am I? Am I more of an adult compared to the last time we met? Yeah, I really feel like you got prettier. <laughs> Yay! Yosuke-san complimented me! She doesn't need to be that happy over a compliment from me. I was feeling uneasy the whole time I was talking to Chihaya-chan. During college, I spoke to her a few times, but I had no idea she talks this much. And she's kind of handsy. Knowing that she's Hayato's sister makes it even more awkward. There is one question I have for her. Chihaya-chan, why are you on the last train? Well... Oh, we're at the station already. Uh, Be careful. <laughs> uh, sorry, it seems I'm really drunk. I'm worried, so I'll take you home. Let's get off. But isn't this the last train? Guess we got off. You missed the last train. <laughs> it's okay. After I drop you off, I'll take a taxi home. Sorry, it's all my fault. Never mind that. Are you okay? Can you walk? Y yes I think I can. Uh, you're staggering. It's dangerous to walk home like this. In that case, I have a request for you. <laughs> you're really okay with this? Yes, your back is so warm. It feels good. Oh, really? And you smell good. It relaxes me. <laughs> I'm embarrassed you're smelling me. I'm gonna rub my smell on you. Rub, rub. Hey, Chiaya-chan, you're getting too close. Chiaya-chan, your house is somewhere near here, right? Wow, you remember? Yeah, I came here a few times in college. Can you walk on your own now? Am um, I heavy? No, not at all. You're actually really light. R really? Then can you carry me till we get to my house? Okay, sure. It's here, right? We're here. Th thank you so much. Can I ask you for something else too? What is it? You can ask me anything. I'm still kinda tipsy. Um, can you take me to my room? Oh, um, I think Hayato isn't home, so do you want me to get your parents? They're actually on vacation right now. I guess I can just take her to her room then. Here, right? We're almost to your bed. This is Chihaya-chan's room. So nostalgic. I think I helped Chihaya-chan with her homework in here before. Thank you so much, Yosuke-san. No problem. Is it alright if I go to your kitchen? I'll bring some water. Where are you going? Uh, hey, Chihaya-chan! Yosuke-san, please don't go. So soft. Uh, I mean, that's not what I'm here for. What's wrong? Why are you asking me not to go? I wanted to thank you. You don't have to thank me for bringing you here. It's not that. Thanking you for letting my brother have that pretty girl. What? May I provide you with service? Not sure if I can do good, but... Whoa, whoa wait, Chiaya-chan! I will do my best. Okay, okay. Let's calm down first. It took a while, but she calmed down. I think only two people who like each other should do these things. You should take care of yourself more. S sorry Uh, no, it's okay. Can I ask something that I've always been wondering? Why were you on the last train? And you mentioned me letting your brother have that pretty lady. Were you watching us? Uh, about that. I was actually sitting nearby when you guys were having the party. I heard from my brother that he was going to set up a party for you. I was so worried I couldn't help but go too. 
But since my brother took away that pretty lady from you, I followed after you. Oh, that's why. You were worried about Hayato? He should be fine. No, I was worried you were going to be taken. Uh, what? Why me? Well, I've always liked you. What? Yosuke-san, am I not good enough to be your girlfriend? Um, but you're Hayato's sister and still a student. I'm 21 years old. I'm not a kid anymore. I've waited three years. Chihaya-chan, what do you mean? I'll show you that I'm an adult now. What? <sighs> uh, hey, Chihaya-chan, why are you taking your clothes off? Yosuke-san, look at me now as an adult. Do you understand now? O okay, I got it. So put your clothes on. We're just getting started. What? I'm gonna go shower first. Why is this happening? She used to be so shy, but she's so aggressive now. What happened to her in the past three years? I mean, is this really okay? Thanks for waiting. Yosuke-san, you can go shower too. Oh, uh, okay. I'll be waiting. Oh, uh, okay. And then, after I showered and came back, Chihaya-chan, thanks for letting me use the shower. Uh, Chihaya-chan? <sighs> She's sleeping. I'm actually getting sleepy too. <sighs> he could have put his hands on me. I guess I'm not an attractive adult yet for him. Oh shit, I fell asleep! Oh, Chihaya-chan is still sleeping. I guess I better leave now. Hey, Yosuke! Hayato? Why are you coming out of Chihaya's room? Um, uh, this is hard to explain, but I slept with your sister. What? Technically not a lie, but I just wanted to get back at Hayato a bit. <sighs> I couldn't stop thinking about Chihaya-chan ever since then. Hmm? I wonder who that could be. Chihaya-chan? Uh, um, hello. What's wrong? Um, there's something I wanted to talk to you about. What's that? Y yes, about the other night. What? The night I took you home? Did we really sleep together? Yeah, we did. Don't you remember? Really? What should I do? What? To tell you the truth, I don't remember anything after drinking. Um, are you the type that loses memory after drinking? Y yes and I get more emotional, too. That's why that shy Chihaya-chan was so aggressive. Now I understand. And then I heard from my brother that you and I slept together. You came here to confirm that. Did you get my address from Hayato? Y yes About that, uh, actually... Please take responsibility! What? What responsibility? Responsibility is responsibility! It's my first time, but I don't remember a thing. But I'm happy that my first time was with you, but... But I need you to take responsibility by marrying me! Calm down, Chihaya-chan! You're misunderstanding! It took a while, but I was able to clear things up with her. So, we didn't really do anything. Uh, what? How come you didn't do anything? That's what you wanted, right? I mean, I don't want to do anything to a drunk girl. <laughs> Not possible for someone inexperienced at my age. Yosuke-san, you still think of me as a little kid, don't you? No, I don't think that. You're very much an adult to me, really. But you didn't put your hands on me. I wasn't adult enough for you to want to do that. Why are you so stuck on the adult part? Then, I remembered what happened three years ago. It was when Hayato asked me to help Chihaya-chan study. Yosuke-san, what type of girls do you like? What? Me? Mmm, someone adult-like, maybe? <laughs> what? Chihaya-chan, why are you in a bad mood? I don't know. Could it be that Chihaya-chan liked me back then? Even if nothing happened, I still like you and... Forget everything I said about taking responsibility and getting married, but I, I first want to go out with you. What am I saying? <laughs> if you're okay with me, yeah, let's go out. This is how we became a couple. I didn't think you would come here right away after what happened. 
I've always dreamed of living together with the person I like. I was wondering what it'd be like to live with you. And how is it? Of course, the best. Mm, your cooking is so good. Wait, Chiaya, that's my beer. <laughs> I drank it. <laughs> so, Yosuke kun. Uh, yes. Tonight, too! Yay! Hey, Chiaya san, we're still in the middle of eating. When she drinks, she transforms and gets so aggressive. And about Hayato, he did so much for Takanashi san, but got dumped anyway. I guess that's what happens. I can do it too! That girl who took off her shirt with a blushed face is not my girlfriend, but a childhood friend. We've taken a bath together and got changed in the same room before, because we've known each other since we were kids. But that was when we weren't aware of our differences in sex. In high school now. Why are we doing this now? I thought of the reason while freezing, and... Oh, it's my fault. I finally figured it out. Good morning, Sota! Ow! You look well even in the morning. You don't look well. Futaba moved away to the city next to mine after she graduated from middle school. I thought we would fall apart, but we entered the same high school by coincidence, and we got in the same class as well. <laughs> oh, is that a love letter again? That doesn't look like a letter of challenge to me. As you can see, Futaba is a pretty girl. Not only that, she's also cheerful and easy to talk to. So it's no wonder that she's really popular. Getting love letters in her shoebox, and being asked to come to the rooftop, which seemed like something that only happened in manga, actually happened to her all the time. It's from the captain of the soccer team. Are you gonna dump him? Yeah. I've never even talked to him. Hmm. She's never said yes to anyone so far. I wonder what it's like to get a love confession. Oh no. <sighs> I want to enjoy my high school life like you. What are you talking about? I want a girlfriend. I envy you for being able to choose whoever you want. You've always been alone. But too much emphasis on always. Then... I can go out with you if you want. Huh? Don't be kidding. <laughs> but you won't be able to enjoy your high school life forever if you don't do something about it. Shut up. It's too sad to go out of sympathy. And you're more like a younger sister than a girlfriend to me, you know? I can't go out with you. No way. Fine! What? Did I see something wrong? Oh, I know! She prefers an older and not a younger sister. Her eyes met several times in the classroom, but Futaba looked away every time. I guess she really didn't like the idea of me being her older brother. Oh no. I'll have to apologize to her later. It takes time for her to get back in a better mood when she gets sulky. We always go home at the same time, so I'll apologize to her then. Futaba went somewhere after homeroom. Oh, she was asked to meet the captain of the soccer team. She said that she would dump him. But who knows what's gonna happen? There is a chance that she changes her mind after they talk. The captain of the soccer team is a smart and handsome guy. They'll make a very good looking couple. What? I'm not feeling well. What's wrong with me? I need to go home now and get some rest. When I opened the door, I met some girls. Futaba? Are you going home now? Do you want to walk together? Yeah, sure. Don't you think they give us too much math homework? I'm already so stressed out. She doesn't seem different from usual. It doesn't seem as if she just got a love confession. Is there something on my face? No. I was just amazed how you're getting used to love confessions. I was feeling worse at this point. I was frustrated and irritated. You envy me for being popular? But I do have my own problems. You might not understand because you haven't had any love experience yet. Huh? I do understand. What? It's me who wants to say what. Why did I have to say that? I was probably just taking it out on Futaba. I knew it was lame, but I couldn't stop. I actually have a girlfriend. What? You've had so many love confessions. You haven't gone out with anybody yet, right? Then it means that I'm more of an expert here. Oh, you never told me. I've kept it a secret from you. You told me that you want to enjoy your high school life and that you want a girlfriend. You've been lying to me the whole time? So, is she a human being? Don't make fun of me. Of course she's a human being. Oh, 
she's imaginary. I had to tell myself that in my mind. On the other hand, Futaba's face went all red. Oh, no. I can't tell her now that I was just kidding. But it's been more than ten years since I saw her in such a rueful expression. Hmm. This kind of thing rarely happens. So I'll just play along a bit more. She's so great! She's a university student, so she's older than me. She's good at cooking. She's always cool, but adores me. And when we're alone, she's really sweet on me. She looks pure, but can be very bold. R really? Where did you guys meet? Well, I helped her when she was drunk. I borrowed the story from the manga video that I watched yesterday. Then she's over 20? What have you guys been up to? Well... What do you mean by that? Well... All the way. That much? Has she come over to your place? Of course. You know that my parents are away on their business half of the week, right? She comes to stay. So we're practically living together. Living together? So... It means that they share the same bed? Is she mumbling? I don't want her asking me more about my imaginary girlfriend. So I guess it's time I told her the truth. <laughs> you must have known by now, but... Don't tell me anymore! I don't want to listen! My train is here, so bye! Hey, you take the bus, right? <laughs> oh, she's gone. I'm still lying to her. Oh well, I'll just tell and apologize to her tomorrow. I was planning to tell her the truth, but when I got to school the next day, my classmates surrounded me. What's going on? Are they trying to get my money or something? Tell us all about it! You did so many things with your university student girlfriend, didn't you? Huh? I heard about it from Futaba-chan's best friend. So you're not actually naive anymore! What?! She told her friend about it?! The story of my girlfriend had spread all through school. The story of a low-key loner secretly having an adult girlfriend and living together with her attracted the attentions of high school boys and girls. Oh well, the wonder lasts but nine days. They'll just forget about it in no time. Let's eat lunch. Can I sit here? S sure. Futaba sat at the seat in front of me and she brought lunch. She always ate lunch with her friends at the seats near the hallway. But... Did your girlfriend make you lunch? No. Is that so? I made lunch myself. You did? I thought of all the dark matters that she'd cooked so far. Valentine's Day, Christmas, my birthday... The things she had made for me were not edible. Don't eat it. You're gonna get a stomachache. You're being rude. My mom helped, so I'm sure it's fine. I'm relieved. It's unusual for you to cook. What's going on? Nothing. I just felt like it. Here, you can have this. She put a badly shaped rolled omelet on my lunch. You tried it yourself? I did. Mom told me it was good. Then I can eat it without worrying. Thanks. Ah, it's good! See? You like the sweet ones, right? <clears throat> I was used to seeing her smile, but somehow it made my heart skip a beat. So, which rolled omelette do you like better? What do you mean by which? My mom's rolled omelette is super delicious. I kind of feel sorry to compare hers to my mom's, but I guess I have to be honest with her as her childhood friend. Mine, I guess. What? Oh, but I tried so hard. She looks as if she's about to cry. Was it that shocking? I need to make some excuses. What do you expect? She's been doing this longer than you. Are you telling me that I'm immature? I guess so, if you compare yourself to her. My mom is already 50 now. She laughed without eating her lunch, saying that she remembered that she had something to do with her friend. What was that all about? Oh, there was a piece of eggshell in the rolled omelet. So her... Well, I was having a pleasant moment. Futaba was excitedly talking with her friends. I won't give up! You can do it, Futaba! That's right! Futaba started to bring her own lunch every day after that. She would come to my table and give me one of her side dishes. I felt sorry for just eating hers, so I offered to give her mine as well. But she told me that she didn't want to eat it. Was she on a diet or something? How's the fried chicken today? I seasoned it with ginger and soy sauce just the way you like it. You know my legs really well. Yeah, this is good. Which one tastes better? Are you asking me that again? To be honest, I like mine again. My mom used to be a chef, so she's super good at cooking. Futaba knows that, and she's still asking me that question. What does she want? 
I see. I thought I did good this time, though. Don't be disappointed. You've done so much better than the chocolate you gave me last Valentine's Day. It was something unidentifiable in the shape of a chocolate. If I can't win with my lunch, then I have to compete in something different. Huh? Is there a day when there's no one at your home? I'll be alone next Friday. Okay, tomorrow then. I'm going over to your house at night. Is she coming over to cook me dinner? Futaba came over as she had said. It's been so long since I came here last time. We haven't been to each other's houses since you moved away. It hasn't changed much. My parents aren't interested in changing furniture and stuff. Let's go to your room then. Are you coming into my room? Is there something you don't want to see? No, it's a bit messy. So your girlfriend isn't good at cleaning up? I'll clean your room. I'll check the cosmetics and underwear as well. I'm not taking care of my skin, though. And why does she want to see my underwear? Huh? Nothing's here. What are you looking for? If you're looking for the latest Canon's romance manga, Nobuyama's bored with it. I'm not talking about that. Where are you hiding them? You don't want me to see them? She wants to see my underwear that much? Of course I don't want you to see them. Are they that important to you? It's not that they're important. But I just don't want you to see them. I see. I was always by your side up until now. But now you're keeping a secret from me. Why are you being so insecure like that? And what did you come here for? Of course I'm insecure. I'm trying to compete in a game that I already know I'm losing. Hmm. I have no idea what she's talking about. I can never understand even if I try to read what a girl has in her mind. So I've decided not to think about it. Then... I'm not older than you and I can't cook. And I'm not cool either. But I think I can compete in being bold. Huh? It all happened in a moment. But it looked like slow motion to me. Futaba put the hands on the button of her shirt and... I can do it too! I can be bold too! What are you talking about in the first place? I took a cushion and hit her body with that. What does she mean by being bold? My head was spinning fast. I was confused, and Futaba looked as if she was about to cry. I'm not older than you, and I can't cook. I'm not cool either. Being older, good at cooking, cool and bold... Is she talking about my imaginary girlfriend? Come to think about it, I haven't told her that it was a lie. So Futaba still thinks that I have an older girlfriend. And she made me lunch and took off her skirt in front of me. That means... Are you in love with me? Um, are you asking me that now? What? Really? You really like me? Futaba is a popular and pretty girl. She chose me? Jeez, I've done so much! You should have noticed by now. Oh no. I can't help but smirk. I don't care if they call me stupid or idiot. I'm just so glad that she likes me. You're helpless. You have a girlfriend, but you're happy that another girl likes you? Oh, uh, about that. What would happen if I told her the truth? I want to tell her that I like her too. But I want to see her getting jealous a bit longer as well. And five minutes later... You're a big fat liar! She slapped me so hard in the face. It's... sorry! I had to explain to my classmates that I didn't have an older girlfriend. I went to school hesitantly, and I was surrounded by lots of classmates again. Your girlfriend is from Tabachan? Her birthday comes before yours. I didn't notice at all. I somehow interpreted it in a good way. Futaba told her friends about me, and they told everybody at school. They gave her lingerie to celebrate. But I'm not going to tell you the story about seeing her and them. Waking up next to a beautiful girl one day. I'm sure many of you guys out there have fantasized about that kind of a situation. I have too. My name is Akira. And currently, there's a beautiful girl sleeping next to me. However... <laughs> Akira, I love you. This beautiful girl is my younger sister, and she's breaking and entering. Hey, wake up, Hazuki. Why are you in my bed again? Shut up, Akira. Don't tell me to shut up. Wake up! I thought you gave me back the spare key. How did you get in? I live alone right now. But ever since her summer holidays started, Hazuki has been sneaking into my room every day. And every morning, I wake up to her sleeping next to me. So I just took back the spare key I gave her yesterday. Give it back! But why then 
Is she in my bed today, too? Well, duh. I just took the master key when you weren't looking. And I made a bunch of spares. Interesting how I don't sense even a glimpse of guilt from you. Just give me back that spare key, too, okay? <laughs> Not even a problem. Hazuki? How many spare keys did you make? Oh, don't you wish you knew. Well, it seems like she has at least a couple more. Maybe dozens more. Who knows? It's your fault, Akira. You know that, right? You left your sweet little sister alone and started living by yourself. I just started living alone this summer. And it seems like Hazuki wasn't happy about that. As you can see, Hazuki loves me. Akira! Akira! Aki! I do love my sister, of course, but she's taking it to the next level. I get worried sometimes. So I had a plan to help her become less dependent on me. Huh? My type? Yeah. What type of guys do you like, Hazuki? Hmm... It's an innocent question. I just want to know more about my lovely sister, you know? Hmm... So... Tell me. Well... I like cute and pretty boys that are short and thin. I like pretty voices and boys that are thoughtful and considerate. I see. So Hazuki likes feminine pretty boys. Wait, why does she like me then? Maybe she doesn't like me like that. What's wrong, Akira? Oh, nothing. I was just kind of surprised because I... It wasn't what I expected. <laughs> Good luck, Akira. Huh? Oh, nothing. You're such an open book, Akira. That mysterious smile on her face was a little bit concerning, but I was able to understand the type of boys that she liked, so I decided to take action immediately. About a week into my search for Hazuki's type... Damn, it's so hard to find a pretty boy. I was in the depth of despair. Hazuki had such specific and high standards, and I was having an impossible time finding someone that would be a good match for her. Honestly, I was ready to give up. Just as I was about to walk home in defeat, a miracle happened. Um, excuse me. Huh? <gasps> I heard a voice from behind, and when I turned around, I was shocked to see a beautiful boy looking my way. He had an elegance to him, and his voice was so smooth and beautiful as well. Uh, yeah. How can I help you? Could you help me find a real estate agency nearby? I decided to ask more about this boy's situation. He told me that he was looking for a room that was cheap and close to his college, and was visiting different real estate agents until he could find one. His monthly budget for rent was $100. Yeah, no way he's going to be able to find anything like that. I don't think there's anywhere you can live that cheap. Oh, I'm just really poor. I got kicked out of my last place because I couldn't pay rent. Well, it seems like this boy has a beautiful face, but I might have other issues. I better observe him more carefully. What about you live with me until you find somewhere? It seems like you're having financial problems, so I'll let you live rent-free. What do you think? Huh? Uh, are you sure? Oh, he seems more interested than I expected. I mean, he may be in trouble, but he should be more careful. Well, that saves me the trouble of trying to convince him, I guess. Well, you know, I'm just trying to be a good Samaritan. How nice of you. My name is Ray. Thank you so much for letting me stay with you. So this is how I started living with this beautiful boy who someone might mistake as a girl. But this was all for my sister. Huh? You're gonna do all the housework for me? Yes! Instead of paying you rent, I'd like to do all of your housework for you. I'm actually pretty good at cooking and cleaning. I can't cook at all, so when Hazuki isn't around, I usually go to the grocery store and buy ready-made meals. I'm shutting her out right now while I find her a boyfriend, so I decided to take Ray up on his offer. Okay then, thanks. Ray was just as good as he said he was at cooking. His face was gorgeous, and I felt like I made a great deal. The room was sparkling clean every day, too. But it takes time to truly understand someone's true colors. One moment someone might seem great, and the next moment they could be someone totally different. I've seen it happen many times, so I decided to make a move. What? You want a drink with me? Yeah, it's been about a week, but we don't know each other that well, you know? You still seem a little nervous around me, so I thought that this would be a good way to break the ice. I see. Do you not drink at all? Yeah, 
I'm not very good with alcohol, actually. Oh, okay then. That's too bad. I'm sorry, but I would love to have a conversation over sweets and snacks. Whoa, he's so close. Calm down, calm down. Yeah, he's cute, but but he's a boy. Is that too much to ask? Ah, uh, he's so cute. No, no, of course not. Well, let me go buy some snacks and drinks for us to talk over. So instead of drinks, we just decided to have a tea party, but... <laughs> this cake is so good. Mm. This tea, it's such a good match with this cake. It's my first time buying tea leaves, but the flavor matches the sweetness of the cake so well. Ray was eating the cake and drinking the tea with a smile on his face. He looked so happy, and I was so confused inside as I watched him. He's dangerous, like a different kind of dangerous. He's a boy, but he's so cute. What is this world coming to? I better get a hold of myself. I see red flags all over the place. Yum. It was my first encounter with a cute boy like him, and it was a heavy blow. I continued to observe Ray's cute personality, and every time I had to hold myself back from walking down that path. Until one day... What? You wanna... Sleep with me? There was a hurricane that hit town, and it was a stormy night. We usually slept in different rooms, but Ray came into my room and asked to sleep in my bed with me. Yes. What do you mean, yes? I'm scared of lightning. I'm too scared to sleep alone. I see, but... Does that mean no? Uh, okay. Just today, alright? Thank you. <sighs> I can't sleep. Why am I so nervous sleeping next to this boy? Um... Y yeah Thank you so much for being so good to me. No problem. I'm just being a good Samaritan. Yeah, but most people wouldn't be so considerate without asking for anything in return. I can't tell him that I'm just watching him as a potential boyfriend for my sister. Thank you so much. <gasps> hey, why are you wrapping your arms around me? Huh? You're asleep already? Yeah, I might be the weird one here for feeling all nervous around another boy, but still. Why is he sleeping so close? And his face. It's so cute. He even looks kind of like a girl. Damn. What am I supposed to do? My heart was beating pretty fast, and it took me a while to calm down and fall asleep. Huh? Something smells... good. The next day, I slowly started waking up. And when I took a deep breath, I smelled something fragrant. Like... flowers. <laughs> and I heard a cute moaning sound. I slowly opened my eyes to see what was going on, and... <gasps> I opened my eyes to an unbelievable sight! What I saw in front of me was something that a boy would never wear! Wait, what? What's going on right now? Uh, mm, that tickles. This voice... Ray? And I'm in Ray's shirt right now? Hmm, why are you... tickling? Huh? Akira! What are you doing? I woke Ray up while I was twisting and turning to get out. Uh, oh, um, no, this is a... You saw, didn't you? Huh? You saw, right? I was sure that he would start yelling at me, but it seems like he had different concerns of his own. Oh, um, Ray? You're a girl? What I witnessed earlier was girls' underwear. I know enough to know what that mean. Yes. I'm sorry for lying to you. Why would you lie to me? Um... Uh, oh, don't worry. I'm not going to force you to tell me if you don't want to. Thank you. No worries. But I am kind of glad. Huh? Because you're a girl, right, Ray? You were so cute and I was getting butterflies in my stomach, but I was also confused about myself because I thought you were a boy. But since you're a girl... Wait a minute. Am I telling her too much? Oh, um, never mind. 
I'm happy. Huh? I've liked you for a long time, Akira. What? So, I'm happy that you think I'm cute. She just suddenly told me that she liked me. Things were moving so fast, I couldn't keep up. So, does this mean that our feelings are mutual? Wait, hold on a minute, slow down. Does that mean no? Why is she staring at me with those puppy eyes? Does she really like me? Um, well, I do think you're cute, Ray, but I still don't know enough about you. Okay, then let's get to know each other better. I'll do my best to show you who I am, too. What's going on? And Ray's voice sounds so much more girly all of a sudden. But you're so cute. I can't say no to that. Okay, then. So can we be a couple, then? Yeah. I didn't have it in me to say no. And from that moment on, Ray switched to offense. Open up. She tried to feed me food. Let me wash your back for you. And she'd come into the shower. She was going all out. And finally... It's stormy outside. Can I sleep with you tonight? Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Thanks. I was at the point where I just pretty much did anything she asked. That's how cute and attractive she was. My head was about to explode, and she slipped into bed besides me. She kept approaching me like that every day until... Open up! Ah! Mmm! Mm. This is delicious, Ray! I was completely head over heels for her. She was just too cute for me to resist. Anyone would fall for her. My life was so great, I couldn't imagine life without her anymore. But one such day... That girl appeared. Well, well. Looks like someone's having fun. I was eating breakfast with Rei as usual, when the door suddenly opened and Hazuki came in. Huh? Hazuki? What are you doing here? Huh? Why do you seem all nervous that your cute little sister is here? Oh, uh, no. This is, um... You're nervous because there's something you're trying to hide, right? Wait, calm down. I can explain. Um, well, my mind was on overdrive, trying to conjure up excuses to calm Hazuki down. However, <laughs> Hazuki started laughing for some reason. Huh? You should see your face, Akira. I didn't think you would panic so much. Hey, stop making fun of him, Hazuki. Poor Akira. What? Ray? You know Hazuki? Oh, <laughs> sorry, Akira. I'm actually her friend. What? More like besties. We're always together at school, too. Wait, what? I thought you were in college. Oh, that was my idea. Oh, yeah. And the lie that she was having money problems and got kicked out were all lies to give you an excuse to invite her to stay with you. She didn't seem sorry at all. She just laid it out in front of me like it was nothing. She was smiling, but I had a headache. Hold on. So you guys were playing me this entire time? It's your fault, Akira. You started looking for a boyfriend for me without even asking for my permission. Yeah, but you use your friends to get revenge? Is that what you think? What do you mean? You think Rei would do all of that if she was just playing you? She cut her hair to look like a boy and lived with you. You think someone would really go that far just for fun? Well, why would she do all that then? You suck at housework, Akira. Uh, I couldn't deny it. She was right. I sucked at getting things done around the house for sure. But I'm your sister, so I can't marry you, right? And that's why I wanted Ray to look after you. Because I know how nice and caring she is. And... I knew that Ray has had a crush on you for a long time. Huh? For a long time? Have we met? Yeah. Do you remember when you were a senior and we were sophomores? That girl that I was always with that was cute with the long hair? You mean that girl that was popular from everyone in school from all grades? Yeah. That's Ray. What? You're that girl that was rumored to be the cutest girl in school, Ray? Now that she mentioned it, Ray did look like that cute girl. Your hair was so different. I didn't notice until now. Wait, 
Does that mean you liked me since back then? Yeah. When I saw how you loved Hazuki, even though you always complained about her, I thought that was so attractive. I've liked you ever since. I'm sorry for deceiving you, but my feelings for you are real. After everything that happened, will you still be my boyfriend? Well, to be honest, my feelings are a little hurt that you were lying to me all this time. But I'm in love with you regardless, so let me be the one to ask. Will you be my girlfriend, Ray? <gasps> oh, I'm so happy. Yes, thank you. Akira, I'm so happy that you're my boyfriend. Me too, Ray. So this is how a boyfriend candidate for my sister became my girlfriend. What an unusual experience, right? And we started living a more loving life together from that day on. But that story is for another day. I'm just so happy to have such a wonderful girlfriend now. And I'm going to savor every moment of it. Very nice. And everyone lived happily ever after. Hey, Ray, make sure to let me borrow Akira sometimes too, okay? Hazuki can be annoying sometimes, but nevertheless, I love her too. Here's your paper. I, Riku Sahara, fell in love at this moment. The long, wavy hair... Her clear, light brown eyes, and her fine nose. There isn't a person in this school that doesn't know her. <laughs> Thanks! Oh no, my face is red. She picked up a pile of paper that I dropped on the floor right away. I could tell how beautiful she, Narumi Kamiya, was, because our faces were so close. No wonder everyone says that she is the most beautiful girl in the school. I couldn't take my eyes off of her. This should be everything. Um, I... I like you, Narumi! Those words naturally fell out of my mouth after seeing her face. I didn't understand why I was saying this. We aren't even in the same class, and it was my first time talking to her today. I'm an introvert with no friends, and she's the popular girl at school. We are completely different. Um, that's really sweet, but sorry. I guess that was a natural response. But I don't think anyone would accept a love confession from a person they have never talked to. And we're talking about Kamiya! There are tons of good-looking guys for her, much better than introverts like me! I'll be going now. Be careful not to drop your stuff next time. The day I fell in love, I confessed my love to someone for the first time in my life, and got rejected for the first time in my life. Ah! I fell onto my sofa when I got home. I can't believe it! I didn't know that being rejected could hurt so badly! But if you think about it, there's no way I wouldn't have not got rejected. But still! Even if that's the case, my heart is aching so badly. Do the people with boyfriends and girlfriends out there know how painful this is? If they do, they are warriors. Oh, Onishan, you're home. The living room door opened. The girl that walked through was a cute looking girl who was wearing her school uniform in a rough manner. I'm home. You look depressed more than usual, Onichan. She's my little sister, Mikan. The difference between us, of how she's super cute and how I'm the biggest loser introvert, is one of the biggest family mysteries. I got rejected today. And? And? Her cold attitude makes me want to cry. Your brother just got rejected! But you just slapped me in the face with one word? It's like my heart was shattered into pieces and then shredded into nothing! I've told you. You can stay by my side forever. Isn't that called being a freeloader? How could I be dependent on my younger sister? But it is rare that you, an introvert, would confess your love to any girl apart from me. I've never even done it before. And don't make it sound like I've done it to you. And who did you tell it to? Kamiya. I told Mikan what happened today. Wow, Oni-chan. You are one of a kind. I can't believe you confessed to someone you've never even spoken to. And to the famous beauty of the school Kamiya? Y you think so? My sister praised me for it. It was hurtful to get rejected. But the fact that I was brave enough to tell her that I love her must be something wonderful. Introverts can be really dumb sometimes, can't they? She was just making fun of me. Here's the thing. You need to differentiate between being brave, doing something impossible, and being an asshole. Hold on one second! I've never not been able to tell what an asshole is! I'm starting to think you don't like me. 
but she is currently lying on my lap, so what does that mean? But yeah, I guess it was something impossible like you say. I feel bad for Kamiya now. I think I'll give up on- What are you talking about? My chin! Mikan stood up suddenly, and her head hit my chin with extreme momentum. It's too early to give up. Can you worry about your brother before you tell me what to do? Listen to me. Only introverts give up after just telling someone how they feel. Well, I am an introvert, unlike you. One rejection isn't the end of the world. You still have plenty of room for improvement. You will make an effort so that she will like you, and then you will confess your love again. It's not too late to give up after that. Mikan, it was true that I told her my feelings without any effort of improving myself. If I make an effort so that she would like me, the results might... But I don't know what I should do to improve myself. <laughs> That's why I'm here, Oni-chan. I'm one of the popular kids at school, unlike you. I can teach you the ways of becoming the man that even Kamiya would fall in love with. My sister's words sometimes really hurt my feelings. According to rumors, my sister was as popular as Kamiya at school. Master! That's it! Now stroke my head! Right away! So my sister was going to teach me how to improve myself. So what should I do? I'll teach you later. You can just carry on with stroking my head for now. Yes, master! Hmm, you are very good at this. The day after I confessed? Um, Mikan, what exactly are you- Don't move, Oni-chan. It's looking good. <laughs> What's the matter? Your nose is bleeding. I was right about you. You are the best, Oni-chan. I didn't really know what she was saying, but I wanted her to wipe her nose. We haven't gone to school together for a while. Yeah, it's been a while. Isn't everyone looking this way? I felt the eyes of people every time I walked past someone. I usually don't get this much attention because I'm an introvert. I see. It's because I'm with you today. Well, that might be part of the reason, but I think you are the center of attention right now. Do I look that weird? I changed from glasses to contact lenses, and had my hairstyle changed a bit. So I think it is different compared to usual. You didn't show me the mirror. There's no need to. She wouldn't show me what I look like. Don't worry. You'll always be the brother that I love. I have nothing apart from my sister's love that assures my appearance. I said bye to Mikan and headed to my classroom, feeling nervous. <gasps> Everyone looked at me as I entered the room and froze. What the hell do I look like? Everyone's reaction made me even more worried. I need to go and talk to Kamiya. I put my bag on my desk in the classroom and then left, ignoring my classmates' eyes. Mikan told me that I should first of all go and talk to Kamiya. For an introvert, talking to someone whom you've never talked to is an extremely challenging thing to do. I hope I won't break down. I should first apologize about yesterday. Maybe my impression will change if I beg for forgiveness on the floor. She probably thinks that I'm a weird person because I told her I like her the first time we talked. As I was walking towards her classroom, she came out of the door at a perfect timing. Oh! Kamiya! Um... I wanted to say thank you about yesterday. Oh! You're the boy who dropped the pile of paper? I was so happy that she remembered me. I'm Riku Sahara. Oh, um... Nice to meet you. Things weren't going smoothly at all. Maybe I should beg for forgiveness after all. I was surprised. You've changed quite a lot since yesterday. Really? I didn't have a clue what I looked like apart from the fact that I wasn't wearing glasses anymore. I should have gone to the toilet to check before talking to her. Yeah, I'm really surprised. You look cooler than you did yesterday. Master Mikan! You were right! <laughs> What did I tell you? You made the correct decision leaving it to me. You will be my master forever! You can stay by my side forever and I'll feed you. That's a completely different story, sister. I decided to leave everything to Mikan, now that Kamiya had a good impression of me. I'm so lucky to have an excellent sister who can teach me the ways of being attractive. Master, why do I have to read shoujo manga? Shoujo manga consists of the inner desires that girls have. So if you study this and use the techniques, Kamiya will fall in love with you. Hmm, I'm a little skeptical. Hurry up and finish it. Then you must learn the skill Kabedon. You're telling me to do Kabedon on Kamiya? I'm very worried that she will think I'm a weirdo if I suddenly do Kabedon on her. If this helps get girls, 
the walls all around Japan would be full of holes. Are you questioning my methods? You should just do as I say, and I will assure you it will go well! Yes, Master! <laughs> What's the matter, Mikan? Nothing, Oni-chan. And the following day, I... Hey, don't look away from me. I was doing Kabedon to Kamiya. I did it again. I called her out to the rooftop and did what the characters were doing in the shoujo manga. <gasps> and then Kamiya blushed. What is it, all of a sudden? Of course. Naturally, anyone would be surprised if this happened to them out of nowhere. But her reaction? It's very similar to the reaction of the female character. Did I just succeed? Then I should ask her on a date. Just like Mikan told me what happened in the shoujo manga. Normally, I don't think anyone would go out on a date with me just because I did Kabe Don on them. Hey, I was wondering if you could make time for me this Saturday. I want to go on a date with you. Uh, okay. Why? Master Mikan, you are almighty! I bowed deeply with gratitude to my sister because I was able to ask Kamiya out on a date with a plan that I would have been too skeptical to bring into action without her support. Are you kidding me? Huh? What was that? Nothing, Oni-chan. Now you should understand that my advice works. If you do as I say, you will be able to get Kamiya's heart. Wow, Master. I thought you were tricking me at first. It turned out that you are a real master. The next, you must kiss her. Master? No, 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 no. That's way too soon. You're naive, Oni-chan. Way too naive. When you are in love, you need to take the big steps and fly into the sky like Icarus. Well, if my memory is correct, Icarus falls and hits the ground in the end. No, 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 Oni-chan. The fact that she accepted your offer is proof that she is starting to like you. Huh? Is that true? As you learn from Kabadon, girls like it when boys approach them and be a bit rough. She will fall in love with you if you go for the kiss. I want to know whether that is morally acceptable, sister. This should do it. Mikan whispered something. I got shivers down my spine. I mean, the advice she had given me so far has had good results, so I guess it's worth trying. If she doesn't want to kiss me, then I'll apologize and beg for forgiveness on the floor before I get to her lips. Maybe I'll just give it a try. Ah, Sarah! The day before the date was Sahara! I was screaming by myself in my room because Sahara is just too attractive recently! He wasn't anything like what he told me when he liked me the other day, but he looks so different. When he puts his glasses on, he's just the type I really like. As a shoujo manga lover, that Kabadon was just too good to be true. I know I am a simple girl, and I did turn him down once, but I think about him every day. What should I wear? I wonder if he likes cute clothes. The day of the date had come. I hope my clothes were okay. I just bought what a mannequin was wearing. I did get it at a fashionable store, and Mikan also told me it looked good while having a nosebleed, so... I think it will be okay. Well, at least I hope so. S sorry for keeping you waiting. I waited for a few minutes, and then Kamiya showed up. She was wearing cute clothes, and she had a bit of makeup on her already beautiful face, which made her even more beautiful than usual. Shall we get going? I couldn't take my eyes off her. Uh, are you alright, Sarah? <laughs> sorry about that. It's just that you're a little too cute, so... Huh? I wonder if this phenomenon of nosebleeds is in our DNA. So, where shall we go then? Uh, I'll leave it up to you. Her tone of voice was high and a little awkward. Maybe she's nervous. She is friends with everyone, so I don't think she would get nervous going on a date with a guy. Who was it that was being self-conscious and thinking that she's nervous because she's on a date with me, and not some other guy? Oh wait, that was me! It's my first time here, too, so let's go on things that we're interested in. I walked a little ahead of Kamiya with the same pace as her, and then she reached out and held my hand. It was so sudden that I couldn't help but blush. But it's all right. I'm not the same me that I used to be. Don't misunderstand this. This is probably because it would be problematic if we lose sight of each other. It's not because she wants to hold hands. I wanted to hold your hand. Kamiya? What would make her want to hold hands with me? 
Maybe she's starting to like me just like Mikan told me. But I have to respond in a cool manner all the time. The characters in the shoujo manga were all very cool and calm all the time. Right, Riku? I... 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 I I'm okay with it. That was so embarrassing. I started like crazy. After that, we did lots of things. A roller coaster. How frightening was that? I can't believe that there are human beings who think that this is entertaining. Oh, that was so much fun. It was really fun. Hmm, it's really well made. Ah, how are you not scared of this? Don't worry, I'm good with this stuff. If anything happens to you, I'll protect you. P protect Here you go. Thanks, I'll pay for it. I accidentally bought too, so don't worry about it. You're too kind. And when the sun was about to go down, we were on a Ferris wheel. Oh no, I don't have time left! I enjoyed the time I spent with her and fell in love even harder, so I was too occupied with her! Losing track of time is okay, but I don't know when I should kiss her! This is my final chance. I feel like it is the best opportunity as well, but I still don't know if kissing her out of the blue is an appropriate thing to do. The gentleman inside me was telling me about how morally inappropriate this was, turning me into a coward. What's the matter, Sahara? Oh, what the heck? If I back out now, I'll go back to the coward that I used to be. Trust me, Khan. With all your heart. I pushed myself in the back and... Kamiya? Huh? Tell me if you don't want to. I'll quit if she rejects me. According to Mikan, you can't refuse if you like someone. I can even hear my heart thumping. Um, wait, Sarah. And there goes my love. She said wait, so she didn't want to. So this is proof that she doesn't like me. Sorry, Mikan. I couldn't make it even with your support. Well, um, if you want to go further, I want you to be my boyfriend. What? So, um... I'm happy, and I'm fine with it. It's just that I want to do those kinds of things after we start dating. Oh, okay. Sahara, do you love me? I know I turned you down once, but... I love you, Kamiya. Really? I'm so happy. So it's all thanks to you, Master, that I was able to start dating Kamiya. Oh, you are extraordinary, Mikan. At first I was like, there's no way I will be able to date her doing this. But your advice actually worked. She is an extraordinary sister. If I was on my own, I would have given up from the very beginning. I will thank her for the rest of my life. This wasn't supposed to happen. But Mikan didn't look happy. And her fist was shaking. And... But you were supposed to be mine, Oni-chan. Um... I was teaching you things that were unbelievable so that Kamiya would hate you. I was trying to destroy your love. Why did it all go so well? How terrifying what my sister was thinking. No wonder I thought that there was no way it would work. But it is thanks to Mikan that I was able to date Kamiya. And I love my sister, even if she has a dark side to her. Don't worry. I will date Kamiya, but I am yours. Really? Yeah, I promise. Will you stay with me forever? That, again, is a completely different story. Can you still not remember? Well, actually, I'm blanking. Then I guess we need a little more stimulation. Absurdity! I was being hugged by the number one cutest blonde girl at school. And I'm currently living with her. Everything began five days ago. Five days ago, I want a girlfriend so badly. Do you have one here, Rano? I, um, well, I'm a teenage boy, so obviously... I'm interested in girls. You're Aita Hirano, right? Can you get out of the way? S sorry. Her name is Kiori Wakatsuki. A blonde, scary girl from the same class as me. She's impossible. She's so otherworldly. One day, my mom said this to me while I was laying down on the floor in our living room. Why don't you bring a girl or two over and impress your mother, Aita? Well, first of all, that's a really weird reason to invite a girl over. Plus, I don't even have a girlfriend. I'm not the attractive type, you know? House rule number one, no negative comments in this house. Number two, don't talk back to your mother. When did we ever have rules? <laughs> you know too little about relationships. Come here and watch this. This is canon love manga. I mean, foreign drama DVD. That's right, I rented Kanon Summer, or more frequently referred to as Natsukano. 
I am so in love with Peiyang. Right. Like, I'm interested. Five hours later? Ah, uh, I'm going to bed. But are you still gonna watch more? This is the good bit, so shush! Good night. I unexpectedly got super into it and watched the whole series in three days and learned the ways of love. Oh, that was great! I'm so satisfied. I was satisfied just watching romantic relationships. Somehow, the protagonist lost his memory, and then, and the heroine was a long-lost sister of the protagonist. The drama had unbelievable plot twists, but the excitement made it very satisfying. But uh, I guess getting a girlfriend was even more of a fiction for me. But then... Ah! Whoa! I bumped into a girl at the corner of the stairs, and we were both falling, so I hugged her and we rolled down the stairs. Ow! Ta? Hey, how long are you going to push your face against my breast? I'm... Uh, sorry! Kyori Watsuki! This is bad. Oh no. She's gonna be so mad. What should I do? I panicked. If she shouts that I'm a molester or a pervert, my life at school will end. What's the best excuse? Um... Ah, I know. Um, what? Where am I? Who am I? What a shit excuse! What have I done? The amnesia excuse probably just popped into my head because of Natsukano. Even though I didn't have time to think, this was the worst excuse I ever heard of! But as I was panicking... Uh, are you alright? Did you hit your head? She fell for it. She looked at me with a worried face. Um, I can't really remember anything. <laughs> Isn't that amnesia? Oh, well, yeah. Right. Then we have to go to the school nurse. Oh! I haven't held hands with a girl since elementary school. There was no time to say that it was a lie. This is amnesia. The school nurse believed it as well. He tried to protect you and hit his head. As a result, he lost his memory, I suppose. It... it's my fault? I don't think so. Sorry, Watasuki. Can I have a word with Hirano alone? Kyori left the room looking shocked. So, why are you pretending to have lost your memory? What? You knew? Well, I guess it was natural. I explained what happened to the school nurse. Okay, let's go with it. It sounds fun. Um, I think that may not be the best option available, but... That girl, caring for others like this, this might be the way. Excuse me? Uh, nothing, nothing. On the way back home, Kyoto came to me just outside the school's gate. Hey you! Aita, right? Uh, do you know your way home, even though you lost your memory? Shit! Oh, well, um, I think it'll be alright. The teacher gave me my address and phone number, so... Okay, but if you go back like that, your parents will be worried. Thank God she hasn't figured it out yet. Kyori told me to have someone pick me up from school, so I called my mom. Oh, hey, mom-ish person. It's me. Is this some kind of fraud? No, I, um, seem to have lost my memory. Oh, that must have been hard. I want to erase your grades from my memory, too. Ugh! Where are you, by the way? It sounds noisy. I'm at the airport. Your father strained his back, so I'm going to Hokkaido to help him. What? So you'll be alone for a while. Oh, make sure you report to me every time you bring a girl over, okay? Bye! That mother... Is everything okay? Well, the person who appears to be my mother is going to visit the person who seems to be my father, so I'm uh, on my own. Okay, so you are alone at home now? And how did this happen? I'll make dinner so you can just relax and watch TV or something. Kyori decided to take care of me and came over to my house. She looks really good in an apron. But am I really okay with this? Unfortunately, or fortunately, my mom was away. And I'm home alone with this cute girl. How can I say my memory loss was a lie? I'll get stabbed with that knife. Open up. I remember how to use chopsticks, so I can eat by myself. Come on, open up. Kyori is taking care of me without knowing that I'm lying. Kyori's really cute, but I bet she's scary when she gets mad. I guess I'll just have to go with it, like the school nurse said. And even in the bath. Has your memory come back? Um, no. Holy shit! Why is she washing my back? 
she had on her swimsuit from her PE class. I told her that I was fine on my own, but she wouldn't listen. We were talking in the living room after we got out of the bath. I think I'll live here with you and take care of you. But, 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 but don't you think that's a little dodgy? I can't leave someone without their memory. After all, it's all my fault. Well, the more I wait, the harder it got to tell her. After I got into bed. Um, do we really have to sleep in the same bed? You can use the room next to this, you know? Well, you hit your head. What are you going to do if something happened while you were asleep? I'll be able to notice any changes if I sleep with you. So a sleeper awake? Kiarty is everywhere I go. She even tried to come into the bathroom with me. Oh, well, you should be happy that you can live with a pretty girl like her. Aren't you the school nurse? Oh no, things are getting worse when she finds out. Maybe I should just tell her it was a lie. If you tell her now, it'll make everything worse. You should wait a little longer and tell her that your memory is back. You're enjoying this, aren't you? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Whose fault do you think this is? I mean, originally it's my fault, but you're the person that's making things worse! And so, my life with Kiori was at five days now. And now... So hugging won't get your memory back. I wonder what we can do to get your memory back. I bet you're tired of taking care of me, right? You should go home. Not at all. This level of care is nothing. And what do you mean by this level? I think you need more stimulation to get back your memory. <gasps> I know! Um, Kyori? What are you going to do? We should do the same thing as we did before you lost your memory. Think of this as the stairs at school. And bump into each other and fall down? That's a little too much, don't you think? Come on! Let's do it! This might get your memory back! This is too dangerous! Or, is this the perfect chance? I could roll down the stairs and say that my memory's back. Uh, okay. Here I go. I bumped into Hiori and I can't do it. Huh? What if things get worse rather than just losing your memory? These stairs are very narrow. I don't want you to hurt your precious body. Oh, uh, okay. What is it? Nothing. It's just that you holding me like this reminded me of how you protected me. You are really brave, Aita. I'm sorry, but I'm a terrible human being, lying to you about losing my memory. That night, Kyori seemed unable to sleep. Can't you sleep? I was thinking, maybe if we do something more extreme than bumping into each other, your memory might come back. What do you mean more extreme than bumping? Aita. Whoa! Kiori? Kiori started unbuttoning your pajama bottoms. Wait, what are you doing? I thought you should have a more extreme experience. Wait, 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 wait! I think that's a little too extreme. But you won't be able to get your memory back for the rest of your life unless... This was a little too extreme, even for shock therapy. And I was coming to my limits. I'm truly sorry. I've been deceiving you this whole time. What? I... I didn't really lose my memory. I just tried to make an excuse because I touched you. So there's no need for you to do all this. I know you probably won't forgive me, but I'm sorry. Uh, uh, a lie. There goes my life. I'm scared of raising my head. She's probably disgusted by my actions, but... <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I know that you were lying. What? Since when? From the very beginning. But you reflected on your own behavior and now have apologized for it. The more I took care of you, the more you felt guilty. So I was waiting for you to say the truth. Oh, I'm so sorry. I should have told you earlier. Actually, I shouldn't have lied in the first place. But if you told me earlier or didn't lie at all, I probably wouldn't have fell in love with you. Wait, so... I felt something soft touch my cheeks. That was for lying to me. But I think you're still in need of punishment. And she started taking off her pajamas in front of me. But, but that's more of a reward than a punishment, so... There is no need to resist. Well, actually, I can't resist anymore. Wait! Hold up! And then, suddenly... Aita, I'm home! Are you watching porn again? Oh, uh, who is this? This is... Well, um, 
Uh, oh, this is... Um, I completely blanked with the sudden appearance of my mom. She did confess her love to me, but she isn't exactly my girlfriend. And it's confusing to explain everything all at once. I know! This is my long-lost sister! Huh? Right answer, me. Well done. I explained everything that had happened the past few days to my mom. And this was her response. Well, a lot of what you just said doesn't make sense, but I'll allow it if you two are in an innocent relationship. And if you two are doing naughty stuff, report everything to me, and then I'll allow it. What? So, with my mom's approval, Kyori and I started dating. <laughs> oh my god! That is the best thing I've heard in ages! <laughs> well, it wasn't funny for me. But you should be happy. You got yourself a nice, caring girlfriend. But I have a feeling that she's more caring in her mind. We went home together on the day, and I told everything to the school nurse. Can I go to your house today? Maybe not today. My mom is away for a few days for the Piang dinner show, so... I know. Your mom gave me the spare keys and told me to look after you. That mother! So, I was thinking we could continue with it from where we were the other day. I won't let you sleep tonight. Ki Kiori? With the help of many people, I got myself a very affectionate girlfriend. She's leading me on all the time, so I think it might be time for me to stand up and be a man. Check it out. What do you think? Oh, you're so lucky. I'm so jealous. Huh, how stupid. In our school, there's this new fad among the cool girls with boyfriends. They wear their boyfriend's cardigans to school. I guess it's how they show off how happy they are with their romantic lives, but I'm single, so it doesn't concern me. Morning! What's up, Senga? Oh, morning. I don't have a girlfriend, but there is a girl I like. This girl, Mio Toyama. She's so cute and has a rocking body. Oh man, she just called my name with that cute voice. Who wouldn't fall for that? Everyone seems so excited today. Yeah, I guess it's a new thing to borrow your boyfriend's cardigan. <laughs> Looks like everyone's enjoying themselves. Mio wore a vest instead of a cardigan. Judging from the size, it must be hers. You seem relieved. Huh? Oh, did I? <laughs> Speaking of cardigans, I don't see you wearing one, Senga. Uh, yeah. I don't have one. Oh, I see. I feel so pathetic saying that. Not like I have anyone to lend it to even if I did have one. Aren't you cold, though? Nah, I wear a belly warmer. Belly warmer? <laughs> I just got an image of my grandpa! Mine's a little more fashionable than those. Oh, she's so cute when she laughs. I know my place, so I'm not trying to be her boyfriend. I'm happy just talking with her like this now and then. That's what I thought. A few days later... Morning, Senga! Morning. Huh? You're wearing a cardigan today. Wait. Yep, I borrowed it. No way! Does she have a new boyfriend now? Well, I wouldn't expect someone as cute as her to stay single. Senga, you okay? Oh, really? I think I gotta go to the bathroom. <sighs> Man, why am I feeling jealous? Why aren't I satisfied with just talking to her? I shouldn't be depressed about her getting a boyfriend. I'm so pathetic. But I wonder what kind of guy it is. Maybe it's an upperclassman. I kind of want to know. But then again, I don't. Ah! Sup, Senga? You were in there for quite a bit. You okay? Yeah, it was quite the load. Ew, gross! Stop it, Senga! Yeah, she's so cute. It seems like the fact that she has a boyfriend doesn't make my feelings for her go away. I won't burden her with my feelings. I'll just keep things as they were. A few days later... Hey, Senga! Can you please let me borrow your sweatshirt for P.E.? Did you forget yours? Yeah. You get hot easily, right? I was thinking, if you're not using your sweatshirt, can I borrow it? All the kids I asked in the other class didn't have theirs on them. Oh, okay. Sure, but it might be kind of big for you. I'll just zip it up and roll up the sleeves. Mia wearing an oversized sweatshirt. Oh crap, I bet she'd look so cute. Go ahead, use mine. Oh wait! Alright, it's not too smelly. Huh? Uh, I did wash it, but if it bothers you, you can take it off. Huh? What do you mean? You know, it's mine, so... Uh, I hope my dorkiness doesn't rub off on you. <laughs> You're so funny, Senga. Okay, thanks. I forgot all of my P.E. clothes today. Huh? Huh? Wait, is she gonna wear my sweatshirt over her underwear? Is everything okay? 
Should I not? No, 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 no. Please use it all you want. Thanks. Phew. I never thought that lending gym clothes to a girl would be so nerve wracking. All those guys lending their cardigans must have hearts of steel. You learn something new every day, I guess. P.E. -E. Mia looks so cute in that oversized sweatshirt just as I thought. Oh, she noticed me. Sweet, she just waved at me. Those sleeves. I, I'm in heaven. Hey, uh, aren't you cold? No, man. My heart is so warm right now. Uh, sure, if you say so. But you're kind of creeping me out. Mia wasn't the athletic type. Oh. But that's so cute, too. But she does have a boyfriend. I'm sure that whoever it is that she chose must be super handsome and nice. Maybe I'll be able to give up on her if I could find out who it actually is. I don't want to be the creepy guy with a crush, so I'll just ask her about it. That's what I thought. But I couldn't build up the courage to ask her that day. The next day... Thanks for the sweatshirt, Senga. Here, I washed it for you. Oh, you didn't have to. I was so surprised how big it was when I actually wore it, though. Is that why you couldn't jump over the vault? Oh, you were watching? That's so embarrassing. Um, there's something I want to ask you. Can we talk at lunch? Sure, but why not now? Oh, I wanted to speak to you in private. Did you have plans for lunch? Not at all. Okay, then. All right, let's meet at the stairs. That place should be quiet. Okay, see you then. That look on Mio's face. Maybe she knows what this is going to be about. I kind of regretted asking to speak to her as I headed over to the stairs at lunch. Oh, she's already there. Hey, sorry for making you wait. No problem. So, there's something I wanted to ask you. Wait, can I ask you something first? Huh? Uh, yeah, sure. Um... Who is it that you lend your cardigan to, Senga? What? That's why you don't wear yours, right? You don't have to pretend like you don't have one or that you get hot easily. Huh? What are you talking about? It's all true. I guess I technically do have one, but it's buried in my closet and eaten by bugs. What? Oh my, I was completely misinterpreting the situation. Why would she ask about my cardigan? Oh well. So, my turn to ask you. Whose cardigan are you wearing, Mio? I hope it isn't one of my friends. This? Oh, this is my sister's. What? Wait. So I was just under the wrong impression and all depressed for no reason then? Wait. Were we both worried about the same thing? What do you mean? Were we both worried if the other person had a partner? Uh, yeah. That was what was on my mind, but... Huh? You too, Mio? You're so dull, Senga. I was fine with just keeping it to myself, but after seeing everyone borrowing their boyfriend's cardigans, I got kind of envious. So I lied and said that I forgot my PE clothes. If I couldn't wear your cardigan, I thought I'd just borrow your sweatshirt. What? Are you mad that I lied? Of course not, but I'm just so happy right now. I don't know how to react. <laughs> Me too. I'm happy to hear that you're single. Can I ask you something even better? Even I knew what was about to come. Ah! Shut up, heart. You're pounding so loud I can't hear Mio's voice. Will you be my boyfriend, Senga? Yes, but please, the girl I liked, liked me too. It's like a dream come true. After school that day, we went to a clothing store. What color cardigan do you want to wear? Hmm, on second thought, I feel bad making you buy one just so I can wear it. But seriously, mine probably has holes. Okay, forget the cardigan then. That's so cute, Miho. <laughs> My boyfriend let me borrow it. Oh, I'm so jealous. Can I copy you? The new fad in school became wearing your boyfriend's gym sweatshirt. I feel so safe when I'm wearing your sweatshirt. I felt safe when she was wearing my sweatshirt too. Is this what it means to be possessive? I want you to wear something that's mine too, Senga. Yeah? What could I wear? What about my sweatshirt? Too small. Yeah, you're right. Oh, I know! From that day on, I started wearing a red tie. It was Mio's, of course. I have a feeling that we just created the next fad. Hey, your tie is messed up. Oh, thanks. 